How are we doing there, boys and girls? Good morning. Welcome in, welcome in. Today, birthday mount will be ours. It's going to happen. I can feel it. I can feel it. Let's get some games loaded up. Let's get WoW on the go nice and early. Hope everybody is well. Got your coffee at the ready. I need it this morning. <sighs> Do we think it's going to happen today, though? We got 20 kills yesterday. We should be able to fire through, fire through a bunch of kills this morning. Nice and quickly. All our characters are just... <laughs> you look, look at our character list. Most of our characters are just sat in Tanneris. Ready to kill the dude. Grind through those opportunities. I want to get my auctions checked first, though. Because any expireds. Not having stuff on the auction house is not good. So let's get things relisted. Might not be a bad idea to check the black market auction house as well. I think I'll put some bids on a few things. Warshaw, good morning to you. Welcome in. How are we doing? I'm starting the streams a bit earlier at the moment. Um, I'm getting up early enough and that... You know, if I'm sat at the computer, I might as well just get going, you know. <laughs> Procrastinating for too long in the morning is not needed. Coffee on the go. Let's get going. 25 alts to 30. Uh, why are they 25? Was that, you know, that they've... Uh... Why were they floating around level 25? Was that the pre mate was that if you made uh, Demon Hunters? If you pre-made Demon Hunters before the level squished, didn't they all end up at level 25? They were level 5th. Okay. Okay. Sort of makes sense. Uh, bunch of expireds. Whoa! We did nearly 2 million gold again yesterday. Oh god. This feels gross. It feels like cheating. It actually feels like cheating. The fact that I, I'm not cancel scanning. I, I, I'm just not. I can't. I relist my auctions maybe two, three times a day. Genuinely feels like cheating. I wonder what Corthite crystals are doing though over here. Corthite crystals have been an absolute nightmare. Not because they're too expensive, the fact that they just don't exist. We didn't manage to resell much of that Phaedra more either. That's uh, that's uh, an annoyance. Um, hang on, we've got too many games on the go. This does not need super duper mega graphics. Especially when we start opening more accounts. There we go. Any interesting sales? If I mean, legendaries are legendaries. What is this? Vest of the Tranquil Path. Three and a half thousand gold. Rain song, oh, a couple of hundred gold, it doesn't count. Fine short bow, 200 gold, it doesn't count. Oh, we did sell some of the Phaedra more. Jade Greaves for 400 gold. Oh dear, oh dear. They're meant to be, uh, they're meant to be like, you know, the good transmog. Apparently not. See, it's not even a lot of sales, look. 38, 38 things sold. Nearly 2 million gold, though. This is because the average price is being pushed up so heavily. The average price of a rank 6 nowadays is 60, 70, 80,000 gold apiece. Which is over double what it was not so long ago. I mean, I'll take it. Certainly no complaints about, you know... Nearly 2 million gold in the mailbox. Let's, uh... Please be some Corthite Crystals at a sensible price as well. Okay. Corthite Crystals exist. But not really at a good price. Tab. Yeah, not really any at a good price. 650 seems to be... 
There's a wall at 650. I, I say a wall. 300 Corthite crystals is now technically a wall. Um, that's still less than 10 legendaries. But if we think about it, we sold... What was that? It was like 30-something... 30 30-something... 30 sold auctions from yesterday. How is our... Inventory looking. Yesterday we made it. We we ensured that we had at least one of every rank six crafted before we went and did other things yesterday. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We we sold ten of the rank six legendaries that we crafted yesterday. The other sales were just of other stuff, probably rank fours. So I equally got to be careful with that. Got to be careful with that. That now, now is probably the time where we take it a bit more casually. The, tomorrow's going to be an interesting day. Because the last thing I want to do is restock using expensive crystals. Because then you get lumbered with a whole bunch of high crafting cost items but it's better to have something for sale than have nothing for sale so we might we can probably very quickly just bash out what is only a handful of items we do have a few hundred crystals still yesterday I decided to actually just manually set the material cost of my Corthite crystals because they're proving to be such a pain in the ass to deal with. This blows my mind. Elithium ore is still like... Elithium ore region-wide is going up in value. Not so long ago, this stuff was like 40 gold a piece. Maybe it, maybe it never went down quite that cheap on this realm, but I mean, 60, 70 gold was about the price that Alethium Ore did sit at. Druids, go do druid things, my days. Druids, need to, you need to get on it. Druids do druid things, holy smoke. Alright, fine. Things don't look too bad. Let's get a cancel scan on the go then. Uh, actually... Within the... Okay. There's one hour left on most of this stuff. We're going to have to come back to this in an hour. Well, maybe then we check our auctions real quick. Then we uh, go kill some world bosses. And then come back and relist all this stuff. Let's, do, let's just do a basic cancel scan then. For just the Legos. Give ourselves the early bird advantage get things at the front of the queue dwarf schlong really great name Dwarf Schlong is trying to get into my jewel crafting market. Can't have any of that. Can't have any of that. I'll hold my prices high for the next couple of days. Probably for tomorrow's reset. But after tomorrow, I'll probably get really aggressive on the price. Because I'm starting to feel that even... Um, selling 30 or so legendaries yesterday... Is a slowdown, comparatively. So I think we are now getting to the point where, not that there really was much hype for 915, but I, I'm starting to feel that the uh, the people that were taking advantage of, you know, uh, easy easy access to new legendaries, because the limitation on Torghast being lifted, I think those people have got their legendaries now. Okay, 
we got cancel those for a minute. Let's log on to the other bank character. Gonna have to open a third account for auctioning soon. Once we get Draino up and running. I was tempted to do it yesterday. Um, but I've... It, it's weird, right? I need to... I, I just need to put a few hours into doing some farming on Draino. I need to get into the, you know, the six-figure club for gold. So we can start doing some actual proper crafting. Oh dear, the difference. Difference is night and day. On a realm where you can get away with almost zero cancel scans compared to a realm that's super high populated where if you don't cancel scan, you don't sell anything. Huge difference. Admittedly, a lot of stuff expired, which could have uh, quite an impact on our sales, but... Do we have anything on the auction house? We have a few bits and pieces. 66 auctions. I'm tempted to cancel the lot. Just do a full... Do a, do a full reset on this realm. Not often we get to do that, so... Let's just get that done. We're going to make the cancel scan, cancel throttle in a minute. There we go. <laughs> this is madness. This is actual madness. Where have they gone? Like, <laughs> the honest answer is literally, where have they gone? This is Torn Mill. This is technically one of the highest population realms in the EU. You go to, well, what's it, Raider? Raider? I was looking at this yesterday. Raider IO's realm lists based on population. Torun Mill is here, look. 167,000 plus characters on this realm. 167,000 players. Less than a thousand Corthite crystals on the auction house. What? <laughs> what? Thoughts on transfers to buy mats? Too risky. Too risky. The, 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 these prices are bubble prices. You've got to remember, the second people stop craft, stop buying their legendaries, uh, there's, there's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not worth it. The, 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 the quantity of sales you can make would not justify the amount of, that it costs to transfer to another server. Yeah, not to mention the cooldown 72 hours. If you could, like, if, if you've got a... In, in three days, a hell of a lot can change. Someone scooped them all up? Well, I mean, you can only assume so, but the problem is, is that... Sc scooping them up? Still... There, there still wasn't this many yesterday. We can check the Undermine Journal, actually. That will show us uh, if people have been scooping. Undermine journal. Uh, EU torn mill. Corthite. Crystal. Is 
So let's take a look. Uh, see, look what happened. Look at the market price on these things. Market price steadily declined throughout the entirety of like September, October. Market value on Corthite crystals was nada. Like literally nothing. Like 150, 150 gold, 200 gold a piece you could pick them up for all day long. Uh, and then, you know, market price skyrockets. Supply has also been going up, interestingly. Supp supply went up to, on Friday, as high as 10,000 crystals. Somebody's just, somebody's decided to claim all of them. Because the supply has just dropped off a cliff literally died a death the last few days. But you can see in the last week, in the last week, Corthite crystals have basically never been much less than six, seven hundred gold on this realm. That's like at their best price. Quantities have differed greatly. Went up to yesterday, three, four, somebody bought a bunch. Three, four, just under 5,000 crystals. Uh, and literally, they've been scooped up. Somebody's come in and bought like, Literally, they went down to from 5,000 down to 3,000 down to 2,000. Now we're at like nothing. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. That's quite funny. Luckily, I'm not, you know, I'm not being um, overly aggressive on this realm right now. I, I, gen I genuinely don't care. Like, I, the, the, these prices have been, for me at least, too high for too long. So, I'm not too fast. I'm not too fast. And, and it's mainly, this is, this for me at least, this is one of the advantages of playing on multiple servers. Is that if one server is really difficult and really competitive... For any given reason, you've always got the fallback option of another realm. The re the, even though this is a higher population realm, the opportunities are usually much larger on the higher population realms. I'm choosing to focus way less on this realm, simply because it's ten times easier for me to make even more gold on another realm at the moment. So, for me it doesn't matter where my gold comes from. I'll just play on the realm that makes me the most gold. And at the moment, it's not this one. Even though, you know, most level of logic would sort of say it probably should be this one. But that's, that's quite funny. The, um... There are still some servers out there, though. Where the, uh... The market price is, is really quite low. I mean, Torin Mill right now happens to have one of the highest market prices. This is quite funny. You've also, you've got Draenor and Kazakh. The two highest population realms, right? Draenor and Kazakh, where the prices are actually sky high. Draenor and Kazakh, the two highest population realms, have the nearly the highest market price on crystals. That doesn't make sense. The, the logic should be is that, you know, the, the, the servers with the biggest population should have the highest supply of crystals in turn, meaning that the the, uh, the market price would be the lowest. But it's not. <laughs> it's not. Not at all. You can go to uh, Nordrasil. There's a thousand Corthite crystals on Nordrasil at 75 gold apiece. This is the problem, right? To go to, to to go to another realm and to be able to scoop up enough at enough of a difference on a three-day cooldown, it's probably not worth. 
Because the likelihood is is that Corthite Crystals being seven, eight hundred gold on these realms, Draenor and Kazakh, that's great and all. That's great and all, but it doesn't really matter if you're... The, I suppose the only thing you could do is go down here. You could pick one of these servers where the market price is really low. And there's 3,000 crystals. 3,000, if you can pick them up at 250 gold a piece average. And then sell them for 750 gold a piece average. You're tripling your money. So if you're making 500 gold a piece and you buy 2,000... 500 gold profit on each one. Multiply that by 2,000. That's still only a million gold profit. That doesn't even cover the cost of you transferring there and back. It's uh, it's really not worth. So the, the, the whole transferring between servers for materials thing, the, there's... For starters, it's a shady thing to do in the first place, in my opinion. But it, even even then, to to take to take a realm with to buy two thousand quartzite crystals off a realm. I mean, the other op I mean, there's just not enough kicking about quantity-wise. Although the undermine journal seems to these graphs seem to seem to cap out. the 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 max total seems to be capped. Surely there's realms with more than four five thousand crystals on them. So I don't, I don't, I don't quite know. But either way, I mean, you wouldn't want to be buying two thousand crystals. You'd want to be buying ten thousand. It's, it's just not really feasible. Right, is that everything off the auction house? That's everything off the auction house. Let's put it all back on then. Ideally, is like five k plus or more. Well, yeah, exactly. You've got to be. To, to be able to transfer from one realm to another, make enough profit, and to make it worth your while, you've got to be doing it at such a scale. Uh, such a ridiculous scale. Because you got you, you, you need two, two server transfers. You've got to transfer there, and you've got to transfer back. Which, um, like I said, it's a bit of a shady thing to do in the first place. And there's a bit... My moral compass sort of points in the opposite direction in the first place to doing that. But some people choose to do it. My suggestion would be is if you've got enough gold to be buying... 5,000 Corthite Crystals and paying for server transfers, you could probably be spending that gold far more efficiently um, and without resorting to quite so shady a tactic. Which is equally still not guaranteed. Because doing any flipping is uh, is risky at the best of times. God's honest truth is Kazakh and Draenor, their crystal prices are massively inflated currently. Hugely inflated. So don't get don't get fooled. Don't get fooled by inflated prices. The second people stop buying legendaries, and the second people stop having to buy those Corthite crystals in mass, the price will tank right back down to the 150, 200 gold a piece they once were very quickly and it'll happen overnight is that all expired really no still going We ain't far from that. Yeah, I think I agree. I, it's uh, I never expected this 915 legendary boom to last more than 10 days, uh, we're, and we're we're already you know we're already past that. We're ne we're nearly at the two week mark. For NA, it's two weeks today that the patch came out. So. Cool. 
stopped crafting five of the same piece. Also stopped. Yeah, I stopped producing two. Well, because Corthite crystals were a little bit scarce, I stopped crafting 249s completely. Um, even in even at even at peak, I was only crafting three of each legendary. Maybe five to six of the you know Grimveld cape and Shadowgast ring, that sort of stuff. Um, but I was never really even in its even in its prime. I wasn't really crafting more than sort of two or three of each one. Mostly because I, uh, you know me, I have that Walmart style approach to gold making. I would rather sell a little bit of everything um, than folk than you know laser focus on just one or two items. Spent the gold leveling up every legendary to rank four uh, for a reason, so. But not only is every legendary ranked up to rank four now, we can craft literally every legendary in the game on this realm again now. Um... Not only have I done that, I've also recuperated the cost of doing it. That that was the important thing. And now we're, what, 20 mil, 20 mil plus liquid. So at that point, I'm happy to just sit back and wait. See, see, see what's, see what's going to happen. 9-2 is going to do some ridiculous things for legendaries. I can, I can see it now. But, um... I can just basically focus my efforts on other realms, so I can basically call this one just, you know, it's done. It's on hold for the moment. It's just ready, ready to uh, do its thing. Moved out of the legendary market, sold all my, sold all my remaining materials at these inflated prices. Demands dropped on my server and competition was rough. That's almost the point I want to get to on, on, on uh, Tor and Mill, to be honest. Uh, at least until 9.2 rolls around. I, I'm very tempted to just go heavy liquidation. Because I also know that in the in the run-up to patch 9.2, uh, the likelihood is, is that I will be focusing so heavily on PCR stuff that I probably won't be even playing retail all that much. So it's very tempting just to liquidate everything now. Luckily, I haven't got huge stockpiles of materials. I mean, we're at what, like... Yeah. In fact, even if I was to liquidate everything, I'd probably only make a few more million gold, so... I'm kind of happy just where I am. I'll recraft small quantities, one of everything just to have, you know, presence in the market still. Is that everything out of the mailbox here? Yes. So that should, in theory, now be everything on the auction house. Nearly 5 million gold worth of stuff on the auction house. If, I mean, if, it, huge if, if everything was to sell. It's probably not. Uh, TSM's having a bit of a boo-boo because the graph seems to think that we're down to stupid low money. What it hasn't paid attention to is that we didn't spend that gold. We literally just sent it to another character and TSM's had a heart attack. Um, I mean, it still sees the fact that it's here. So I don't know what this graph is doing. Ignore the graph. But we're... Um, we're still good for gold over here. Uh, in fact, it's probably doing this because the character I sent the gold to is not on this physical account. It's actually on another account, which may cause it to not sync properly. Because, um, you know, TSM syncs a dumb dumb. Good when it works. Annoying is all hell when it doesn't work. But this was the 9.1.5, like, <laughs> short-term craziness. We went from sort of uh, 17, 18 million gold up to, like, 22, 23 in a week or so. With almost no effort. So, I'm not going to go too far out of my way to buy Corthite crystals. Not at the prices they are currently. 
but we can just have this realm on somewhat autopilot now it can we'll we'll repost some stuff we will do some very casual crafting over here but it's ready my point my the, the big advantage for me is it's ready it's ready for patch 9.2 um everything's unlocked everything's leveled up we've got 20 million gold just you know waiting to do something with it uh, as soon as 9.2 turns turns up or we get some more info about 9.2 we can start making decisions on how to move forward. Uh, with that said, I'm going to log this one out. And we're going to put that one to bed for now. Let's get Relist going over here. Crunchy, how we doing? Welcome in. Good to see you this morning. I cannot carry more. Oh, great. We're we're one short. Um, these goddamn stupid porous stone statues. We we are literally just going to delete these because they take up all my inventory space. I've never sold a single one of them. Get rid of them. Uh, my sound alerts don't work. Or did... Did, uh... Did you guys hear the sound alerts? Are they just not working for me? Or do they not work at all? No, nope, not working. Uh... Ah. Let's come out again. Uh, I will check that out after the stream. I'm not sure why those don't work. They should do. I've not changed anything. So, in theory, they should work. Wait, hang on. What's going on? Wow, you are. That's some expensive Phaedra more. Yeah, I should also point out, it's not my birthday. <laughs> it's World of Warcraft's birthday. I don't need any more birthdays. One a year is enough. Do I look like the Queen? Now you mention it. Now the real question there is, you know, does that make the queen look really young or does that make me look really old? Who knows? Beautiful. Everything listed. We'll come back in a little while, relist all of our world drop stuff that's... <laughs> We're slowly but surely chipping away at the prices of these things. I can see by... Um, I, I can see by hovering over some of the items. Like this item, for example, we've listed it 16 times now. Its historical price was 62,000 gold. We've slowly but surely, over 16 reposts, whittled this down to 47,000 gold, which means it's going in the right direction. It's being slowly but surely pushed down in value, which is what I want these items to do, because I'm sick to absolute death of there being just stupidly inflated prices on everything. Um... 
N historical price of 95 now down to 85 yeah it's a slow and steady push but a slow and steady push downwards we're not doing deep crazy r r like ridiculous undercuts because yes heavy undercutting to sell something fast doesn't always work unless you constructively do it very well um, not everything seems to be going in the direction we want it though Oh, but here we go. So on some things it's working. You know, historical price 62, region market average value of 113. Now we're pushing this down to 25,000 gold. That makes a lot more sense. The regional sale average on this thing is 31,000 gold. That's ridiculous. What we don't have though is actual a sale rate for this, meaning that the regional av sale average of 31,000 gold could be one sale of 31,000 gold, uh, which, you know, could could quite clearly be an anomaly. Three sockets. Um, it's just crafted gear. This, this is Wrath of the Lich King crafted gear. 5,000 gold crafting cost. Probably less if you were to actually, you know, creatively get the materials that you need for it. Eight Arctic fur. Arctic fur is a bit of an annoyance. In fact, no, you can buy an Arc you can buy Arctic fur from the vendor. Um, heavy Borean leather. I mean, twenty-four of those doesn't take you more than an hour. I mean, you could make this thing by yourself in like twenty minutes. Does it even look any good? Oh, it's got... Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's why. <laughs> That's why it sells. And the thing with the cleavage is uh, probably the reason why it sells. Alright. Goddamn thirsty gamers out there. Christ. Honorable combat satin cloak of the fire flash. There is no reason on God's earth why this should be so expensive. Why is that gone up? Okay. Yeah, so my theory is not perfectly or, or my, my setup is not working perfectly on everything. But it's working slowly but surely on some things. Here we go. Historical price of 152 now being pushed down it has a now being listed for 135 we're pushing the market value down every time we relist it going in the right direction we're preventing spiraling prices which is good belt of deep shadows 166 historical price now down to 130 yeah okay so it's working it's a slow and steady process but that's what i wanted I didn't want to crash prices overnight. I wanted to slowly push down market values. And because market value is based over 14 days, you can't expect to do anything dramatic too quickly. 160 historical price still being posted for 160. Literally no sales data on these sorts of things. Yeah. Yeah, I have a real, um, a real, uh, uh, probably what you would consider a bee in my bonnet about overinflated values of items. It really annoys me. And then it doubly annoys me when content creators go out and tell people to craft these items because they're quote unquote profitable and they'll make you lots of gold. No, they won't because they don't sell. <laughs> It's not, you're, you're literally wasting your money crafting them most of the time. And it frustrates the living Christ out of me to see it happen. But, you know, people will believe what they believe. Okay. Okay. We're good for re relisting over there. Let's check the, check the black market auction house real quick. See if there was anything. I think we bid on a couple of things yesterday. Proto, a proto drake of some sort turned up. Uh, and I put a bid on that one. I can't remember how much it was. Stro, how are we doing? Welcome in. Good morning to you.
I'm nearly out of coffee. This is not good. Too early to be out of coffee. We've still got noise going on in the background. Where's that one? There we go. All goods and services for sale. Whoa, -ho -ho! okay. It's up to four and a half million now. I don't want it that badly. I don't want it that badly. Damn. Reigns of the Plagued Proto Drake. I mean, I'm sure it's a really cool looking mount, but uh, not for four and a half million gold. I'm not that excited about it. The original source of obtaining this has been removed and is now only available by the black market auction house. Really old school Northrend one. Made some good process uh, progress on LST crafting yesterday. Now I can make a list of items to craft on a button click. If you mail off your items, the list stays as it was. Oh, clever. Not available in-game early ICC time. It was from an achievement. It was the Uldar raid achievement from Wrath. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it would be. it's one of those nice-to-haves, but... Uh, arguably, the people that are going to buy these are going to be collectors. And I, I like my mounts, but not that much. Not to drop four and a half large on one. Some somebody's Somebody can have it for that. <laughs> somebody can have it for that price. Not today. Um... The, the, see, this is the problem for me, right? It's... Um... Even the black market auction house really does not offer much of anything that I actually care about. I can probably list on one hand the things that I would actually buy off the black market auction house. I'd probably be more interested in, uh, on Sylvanas at least, I'd probably be more interested in like unobtainable patterns than I would anything else. Obviously, long boy. Um, but there's not a huge amount that I, even on the black market auction house, care about. And they, they, we were talking about this yesterday. Blizzard's reward structure, they've kind of, um, they've kind of shot themselves in the foot. Because the items that are only available on the black market auction house kind of should be, like, should have some air of prestige to them. They don't really now because there's just there's just too many mounts that you know one mount from. I mean, obviously, somebody was willing to spend four and a half million gold on a proto Drake from Wrath, but the amount of people that are willing to spend that, I don't know. I don't know. There's no such thing as too many mounts. Everything is negotiable. No, I don't know. This I want though. This foam sword rack. TCG card, no longer in print, maybe still available. It's a toy. Foam sword rack. Just because it's a toy, really. I think it was the 10 man reward and the black proto drake was a 25 man one. There's very very few people. I mean the I mean I was I was playing ICC was <laughs> ironically ICC was what probably one of the raids probably one of the raids where I actually did proper progression on. This was back in the day when I kind of still enjoyed raiding. <laughs> um I kind of half remember doing progress on ICC with a, with a guild that I was in at the time. Very rarely in my WoW history has that actually happened because, for the most part, I, like I've 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 not really ever got into the raiding scene properly. It's never really interested me greatly. But ICC was actually one of the raids that I progressed through with a bunch of people. 
which was quite fun back in the day. Right, time to start swatting this world boss. 20 kills since last streamer luck. Let's see if we can uh, we can get this mount before that number hits 40. It was a heroic raider at that time. Had to quit, then came back at the end of BFA. Oh, you chose an interesting time to come back, I tell you that much. How we doing, little Louvre? Welcome in. Also don't have Bruto. Hey, only the cool guys don't have the Bruto saw. You all good? Do not proceed. You will be eliminated. Where did my pet go? Right, every day. Every day until we get this goddamn mount now. There's also a lot of people getting tricked into believing that the uh, the loot that comes from this is bind on a crip. Um, I started to see people making guides that the loot drops are bind on a crip when they're not. They're all bind on pickup now. Yeah, so <laughs> if you want the transmog that drops off this dude, or equally the upgrades or the gear, depending on what level you are, you're going to have to put the effort in yourself. There's no buying it off the auction house this year, unfortunately. Another example of why you should only ever take Wowhead's information at face value. <laughs> After the daily reset, do the world boss with your lower tunes first, because later on they'll only be mid-level tunes and they struggle against Doomwalker. There's logic in that. There's logic in that for sure. Um, but I mean, it is equally only 11 o'clock in the morning for me. So <laughs> I'm surprised there's even anybody online tr trying to kill it right now. Did get 220 helm though. Did get the helm. We've had that a few times though. That's why all the things didn't scream and shout about it. See, now in theory, we're at the point where we just log in, we kill it, we log out. And we can we can hopefully smash through another 20 kills today. Nice and easy. The toy wasn't 100%, by the way. It took me eight kills to get it. Oh, well, then I did get streamer luck first thing then. Because I got that on my first kill. Uh, why is my mage back in Stormwind? Oh, yeah, because this was before I learned to just log off. Yeah, I, I know why this dude's it. Yeah, it's fine. See, i got to get my streamer luck in sometimes. Also got the toy on my first kill. <laughs> I, 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 I still, uh, I'm still proud of the fact that I got Vial of the Sands out of my first jar. <laughs> that, that's my all-time streamer luck. All these people have opened hundreds of jars and still not got the Vial of the Sands. I'm like, mm, you're just doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. No, uh, yeah, we are going this way. Hang on. Woo! Almost went the wrong way then. It's safe to say that my alchemist is never going to drop alchemy though because of that. Because there's absolutely zero chance I'm ever farming that thing again. Because now you've had, now you've had, you know, outrageous levels of luck to begin with. You know, next time you try and do it, not so much.
He makes the funniest groaning noise. Ooh. Ooh. As if it's like, as if these people tickling his toes, like. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, really painful. Oh, he's taking his taking his sweet time to die though today. I'll just ice lance him to death. Nope. Yay! Somebody else that wants to get banned. I need to. I need to. Uh, I need to employ some mods. Wow! Not only did they decide, not only did they decide it'd be funny to try and spam their stupid uh, become famous stuff, also DMing me. Fuck off! That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Hey, dude, you can mod in here if you want. I don't, I uh, I don't envy mods though. It's a thankless, thankless job. Uh, what's the mount from this guy? Is it a dragon hook? Yeah, some. Well, what was it called? Illadari, Illadari dragon hook. I think it was called. Do not proceed. You will be Whoa, what's going on here? Hate being so in its face. There we go. I'm a dev, I'm used to doing thankless jobs. Oh, that's true. Also used to not getting noticed or talked to until somebody wants something from you. Is that the dev life? What's the <laughs> what's what's that meme that floats around the internet all the time? Like the the life of a the life of a programmer. I hate programming. I hate program. I, I hate programming. I hate programming. Oh, it works! I love programming. You know, it's. One of those that you, you you just want to kill yourself until until it finally works. Try working in QA. Yeah. Oh! I got squished! Motherfucker one shot me. Lightning Wrath hit you for 40,000 nature damage. 21,000 overkill. Oh, well, that's just wonderful, isn't it? That's just actually wonderful. Well, that slowed down my progress. Could have been worse. You could have forgotten to turn off war mode. Yeah, yeah, this would be a clusterfuck with war mode on. That's true. Ah, oh, stupid gold only. Ah, oh, fooey. Where is it going to Where is it going to kick us, though? Down here. Okay. Well, for many years I worked in retail, um, and for a lot of it, it was, I mean, the, the natural part of retail, whether you like it or not, is you end up dealing with customer service issues. Um, and, whew, oh boy, sometimes that's, uh, that's enough to make you lose hair.
Need a second counter, one shot deaths. It's like four already. Yeah, you're right, actually. Probably about 20% of the time I just get one shot by this dude for like, there's not literally nothing. I, I should probably pay attention to what the boss is doing, maybe a little bit, but either way. Tend not to hear from people for a year. There's no, hey, how's it going? Let's play a game. <laughs> Next day, it's either, can you host a server for us? Can you build me a PC? <laughs> yeah. People know what you're good at. <laughs> people know what you're good at. Quick question. When 9.2 comes up, will you be updating your Patreon TSM profile? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Pa Patreons will get all of the good stuff. Absolutely. Do not proceed. Building a PC is fun though. It's like Christmas opening all the boxes. I, I to, For me, new PC day is better than Christmas. New PC day is better than Christmas. Simply for the fact that new PC day doesn't happen every year. Christmas happens every year. Like clockwork, believe it or not. Like, <laughs> you can always rely at the end of December there being a Christmas. But new PC day, well, at least for me anyway, new PC day comes less frequently than Christmas. And if anything, it's more enjoyable. <laughs> I do like me a good Christmas. But um, I'm uh, definitely in favour of new PC day. I've, uh, I've got no issue with making my own PCs, but I also agree. Um, building a PC for somebody else is one of the dumbest things you can do. Never ever buy, never ever build a PC for somebody else. Why? Because then every time they have the slightest issue with that computer, for some reason it's your fault and it's your problem. No, 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 no. I did not tell you to install that virus. It's your problem. <laughs> and I, 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 I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happy to build the thing for you, but Christ on a bicycle. When you fuck it, it's your problem. Uh, I might skip this dude simply because he's at the black market auction house and I can't be bothered to transfer him all the way over there. Oh, we didn't up upgrade our kiln counter, did we? It's equally why I kind of learned that it's probably not the best. That if you work at a company that sells a thing, it's usually best not to sell that thing to your friends or family. Because for the for the exact same reason. That, you know, when that thing goes wrong, or it breaks, or, you know, or there's an issue with it, then it's instantly your problem again. And it's really not worth it. I would actually rather not sell you a thing. <laughs> then, then, I don't know. I got one black market auction house camp also. I set his hearthstone to the nearest flight path to the black market auction house. Yeah, I've done the same, but it means I've got to trawl his ass back over here. Um, I, I will probably do so, but I'll put, it, put him at the bottom of the list. I, can you tell there's a bit of a pattern though? Can you tell, like, I'm, uh, my, my opinions about, you know, selling friends and family things or building people's PCs can very closely be linked to crafting people legendaries. <laughs> can, can you understand that, you know, I've had a, I've had a, I've done my time with customer service. Um... So much so that I'd rather I will go out of my way to not have to deal with customer service nowadays. This is equal for a similar reason. It's also why I I never ever ever bother with things like extend. Whoa, okay, nobody followed me. Nobody followed me. Thanks, boys and girls. Bunch of bunch of dum dums. Got straight squished. Okay, let's try that again. I was expecting to have the, uh, the the army behind me. Apparently not.
I'm an electrical engineer. I don't do electrics on friends' houses. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's an, in that's an incredibly sensible thing. <laughs> okay, you're going to get the count on the go then, right? Okay. Do more squishes up to five now. Thanks. Thanks. I'll focus on streamer luck. You, 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 uh, you focus on the death count. Yeah. Hence why I don't bother with, like, you know, extended warranties or anything on products. If something breaks, I'd rather replace it. Because I'd rather not go through the aggro. Because it always is aggro, by the way. Right, I think we will, uh... We will wait for somebody else to pull the boss. <laughs> we, we will not charge in like a chad. Yeah. We should act cautiously. Act with caution. Oh, we've literally just... Okay. Great. We, we missed the kill then by about three and a half seconds. Alright, well, we'll wait for a respawn then. Not tanking Doom War Yeah, definitely not. Let some other sucker do the tanking. This dude's mount's quite cool. As mounts go. That looks very PvP mounty. What is it? Battle Lord's Bloodthirsty War Worm. From Quest The Trial of Rage. I think I like it just because it's red. I'm a sucker for a sucker for anything red. Is it just a class mount? Oh. It's cool. I don't play Horde enough. That's probably why. I don't know. Whatever. That was a cool mount. That's some ugly son bitch. It's that one. Shackled Urzel. Argus the Unmaker on Mythic. That dude didn't have. Didn't even have three ten flying. What a scrub. Actual. Sc Whoa! Hang on. Hang on. Let's let's let, let's stop. Looking at. Hang on. If we're really clever about this, we stand here and we wait. We leech like a leech like a boss. Show you how to leech like a pro, right? You stand here and you wait for him to get to 10%. Safe on your flying mount. You can chill here for a while. I say safe. I'm actually still taking damage somehow. Wait for him to get to 10% health, and then you zerg in. Zerg in, I beam, win. <laughs> that, that's how we do it. Leech like a pro. My wife wouldn't talk to me if I used that mount. Really? Whoa, get out of here. Right, now we go. Boom! Okay, no luck. No luck. Let's move on to the next one. Let's kill number four for the day. Yeah, 40 gold to kill. I mean, that's got to be good for what? Like 240 gold an hour or something like that. I wonder how many people I'm going to uh, I'm going to fool into think making them think it's my birthday. 
<laughs> Thank you for the birthday wishes either way. It's the World of Warcraft birthday, Mount. It's not my birthday. I'm just using it as an excuse to put birthday in the title. <laughs> What's this baity title? Get scamazzed. I will not be eliminated because I'm going to stay out of range until he's almost dead. Learnt my lesson. I ain't getting one shot. Let's all celebrate the day nine months after your mom and dad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. You fucked my mom. See, playing video games online for as long as I have. Um... You would you would assume you you would assume that I have many fathers based on some of the comments I've received over the years. Wow didn't have a birth though. This title is incorrect. Yeah. I see your point. You're a creationist, are you? You're one of those. Never lucky. Gonna be moving on my birthday this year? Moving day is gross. Moving day is actually gross. That's another thing that you always get roped into by family, isn't it? To help help them move houses. My sister-in-law, I think I've helped her move house about 12 times at this point. Game's laggy. Okay, now we're good. There he is. Remember, do not pull him yourself. There's definitely not enough people here. Let, let people initiate the kill. This time I'm going to be the one roping everybody in. I tell you what, some of the best money I ever spent was when we moved to Finland from the UK. Uh, hiring a moving company that literally turned up at my house put everything that I owned in a box and took it to our new place. I didn't have to lift a finger. It was, it was wonderful. Actually wonderful. Bit of a fucking annoyance that, you know, they then delivered everything like three weeks late. But, <laughs> but the, the, the initial having... And then, then there was the nice thing that every... The, the worst thing when you move house is you have to put everything in a box and then you have to take everything out of a box again. Um, it's almost worse taking everything out of the boxes again. Because after the after you do the first few boxes, nice and neat and tidy, and you package thing, things nicely, most of the time you get bored pretty quickly and you end up just fucking things in boxes left, right and centre. And when it comes to unboxing that stuff, it's hell on earth. You can't find anything ever again. 
or everything's broken. <laughs> so, you know, one 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 liquid container has leaked and it's wrecked everything in that box. There's <laughs> so many problems. It's so painful. Last quote I got from a company like that, it was like three thousand yeah, yeah, it was it was hella expensive. Um I can't remember exactly how much we paid, but it was a lot. But it's uh it it was still in my mind some of the best money I've ever spent. Just simply for not having to do it myself was was like all my days. Twenty six. Haven't you learned to break their most precious objects so they don't ask you again? <laughs> See, that's clever. Always do a mediocre job. Never do a good job. Always do a mediocre job because nobody's going to ask you to do a mediocre job again. <laughs> <laughs> Always do the bare minimum in life. <laughs> do not take advice from this streamer. Please, do not do it. move is going to be terrible. I need to bring stuff from four different places and all has to go in at once because of moving rules at my new building. It's on the seventh floor also. Apartments that don't have elevators um, are not worth, a p worth you know, buying apartments in. The, the, there's, there's, a lim there's a limit to how many times you'll lug a washing machine up seven flights of stairs. I would ra I would rather pay double rent and live on the ground floor than have to, you know, <laughs> take, take a... Take <laughs> we have elevators, we're not allowed to use them for moving. Hey, what people don't know can't hurt them. It's a, it's a good way to get to know your neighbours really quickly. Break the rules nice and quickly. It's fine. I repeat, do not take advice from this streamer. <laughs> Now we go in. Now we go in. Now we execute. Now we go in. Now we don't get one shot. We protect ourselves. Come on. Die already. Uh, no, not me. No. Ah, oh, that's not what I meant when I said die already. That's not what. I now you got to give me the mount. Ah, oh, 37 stinky gone. Great. Great. Run back. Run back. Normally there's a service elevator. Yeah, mo most... It, it depends on the type of apartment you live in, but... Don't need the elevator for going down to the car or coming back from a walk. Yeah, exactly. That's that's kind of uh, my thought process on that. Like, yeah, I know the elevator is for you know regular residents doing regular things, but fuck off. If I'm moving a washing machine, I'm taking that lift. I am taking that elevator if I'm moving a washing machine, whether there's a sign that says I can't or not. I'm taking it. I'm All right, it's fine. This looks like some serious streamer unluck. Yeah, I know it's 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 not my day today. You got to have an off day occasionally. You can you can't have you can't have good days without having a few bad days. It's fine.
We're only, uh, what's that? The seventh kill? We're only seven kills in. We're all good. <laughs> it's called content. <laughs> Farming views. Do not proceed. You will be eliminated. Live on the fourth floor of a building that has no stairs or elevators. So what, you, you can fly now? Huh? On the second floor now, the elevator is broken. Apparently has been for about a year. Honestly, people don't even want to bring the mail up anymore. Oh dear. Everybody has the same reaction when I tell it. I'm genuinely interested. How do you get to the fourth floor of a building that doesn't have stairs or elevators? Like, what other method of transportation is there in, a, in an upward trajectory? It's just a long-ass ramp. Oh, fair enough. All right. They're, they're just, like a ramp is just flat stairs though, right? A ramp, a ramp is, you know, it's just stairs without the pointy bits. Convenient wheelchair access. In the UK, at least, it's not even legal to not have an elevator if you have more than three floors or something. I don't know. There's there's lots of rules and regulations. It also depends on how old the building is. More importantly, in the UK, it's probably not built to code in the first place. Planning permission? Planning what? Cowboy builders. <laughs> Absolute cowboy builders. Although in the UK, because of Brexit, you can't even get cowboy builders anymore. All the cowboy builders have gone home. You have to build your own shit nowadays. That's not happening anytime soon. Dum dums. Right, where's the boss at? Who killed him? I gotta be careful now. We're, we're getting to the characters that are lower level, which weirdly seems to put you in shards with other low levels. You can see there's a bunch of like level, there's not many level 60s kicking about on these lower level characters because it's the, the game seems to shard you in with other level appropriate players, which is kind of annoying. Go on, somebody do. Some 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 paladins going ham. Oh, it's a level sixty at least that's tanking it. Fine. Let's hang hang fire for a minute. It's pretty dumb the space the ramp takes. Could put stairs and an elevator and still leave space for nature. <laughs> well, yeah. I imagine it's probably the case. Not not to mention that a ramp probably, you know, has to spiral around. So you probably walk three times the distance by taking the ramp than what you would do by taking the stairs. Old building from the 60s or 70s. Ah oh, yeah, they're all high then. They're, 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 all, they're all high as a kite back then. So, no sensible decisions came out of the 60s or 70s. None at all. I should know. I wasn't born yet. Give me the mount, give me the mount, give me the mount. Oh, hell-stitched mantle. 
Bit of transmog. We'll take a bit of transmog. Bit of transmog is better than nothing. Still missing the goddamn mount though. Next dude. Let's keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. In fact, before we do the next one, I might go grab a drink. I'm out of coffee. Right. Priest is next. I'm going to go grab a quick drink. Occupy yourselves. Hit that follow button. Maybe if you're so inclined to poke the sub button, see what happens. I hear magical things. Back in two minutes. Play ads on the two minute breaks, goddamn. You're right, I probably should. This is why I need to uh This is why I need to get some mods. They they can remember to do. Press the button. I can never remember to press the button. I kinda wish that ads would just disappear off Twitch. That's um I mean I've spoke about this before. I should, I should uh, remind people that I don't press the ad button on Twitch to make money. <laughs> the, the, it's actually the opposite of that. Uh, the, the reason you press the ad button on Twitch is not to uh, show people ads and to make any money from it. It's to actively restrict ads going out to people. Really dumb. Because the uh, when everybody loads into a... Well, as you probably know, when you load into a stream, you... Um, you get a pre-roll ad. And statistics tell you that 30% of people that see that pre-roll ad never make it through the ad to even start watching the stream. Which is why content creators, streamers, go out of their way to limit pre-roll ads. VODs are infested with ads. Are they really? I just upload my VODs to YouTube. Um, 
taken more than 10 ads watching the VOD. Are you watching? Are you are you watching the VODs on Twitch or are you watching them up when I upload them to, to YouTube? Because I upload them all to YouTube and the, my ch the channel I upload them to on YouTube isn't monetized. So there they won't be a single ad on it. Watch them on Twitch, never remember to go to the YouTube. Yeah, I, I for, for partly that reason. Not to, not to mention that Twitch actually deletes the VODs after 14 days. Um, if I upload them to YouTube, they're just there. Because good old YouTube, you know, allows you to upload as much video footage as you want for free. The logistics of that, by the way, like YouTube needs to... Needs 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 a big round of applause for the fact that they let anybody just upload footage. The reason Twitch deletes your VODs is because storing that amount of video footage costs a lot of money. And YouTube just does it for free. It's actually incredible. People don't even realise. They just upload to the cloud. Yeah, that magical cloud. Either way, though, if you do watch the VODs on Twitch, I obviously appreciate that if you are... Uh... Whoops. Uh... Appreciate that if you, get, if you have to sit through ads on Twitch through the VODs, I appreciate you sticking through them. I'm not sure if I see any of the revenue from those ads either way, but... How many attempts do you have for the mount? Uh, there. 28. Who stole Doomwalker? Where's he gone? What's the red drink? Uh, it's just black currant juice. Some sort of black currant juice. In fact, wait, well, it's finished, isn't it? So it's probably not actually <laughs> flavored vodka. Like 11 a.m. in the morning. Do I look like an alcoholic? Don't answer that. Trust me, if I was drinking, if I was drinking straight for flavored vodka, you'd know about it. I'm um, I'm an interesting drunk. Let's put it that way. I'm gonna heal myself. Fuck this business. I ain't dying. I ain't getting one shot to your shenanigans. Not today. I just stand here and heal people. Heal people like a pro. And by like a pro, I mean horrendously badly. This is how priests do content, right? Press Holy Nova constantly. Press Penance on cooldown. Win. Boom! What is this? Anger Spark Gloves. I tell you what, we must at this point have most of the transmog from this dude. There can't be many things we're missing. I've not actually been keeping track of what we have and haven't been collecting, but cool, I'll take those. No mount though, no mount. Drinking stream when? Uh, I'm I'm way too sensible of of a person to do a drinking stream. I 
I'm, um... Did you get the axe? Uh, I haven't got the axe yet, I don't think. I should probably keep track. I've had, I've had a fair few transmog drops from this dude, but I've not really been keeping track. We'll open, um, we'll open all the things in a minute and have a look. In theory, now I know I'm only focusing on this one boss, but there are still the other world bosses that are up that we should, in theory, also be killing. I don't think they drop anything but transmog, though, and I really don't care for transmog. The only reason I'm killing this dude is for the mount. Got the toy, just want the mount. Um, can I move this out the way, please? Uh, why can I never move the thing? Is there a interface? Is there a lock thing in place thing? Do not proceed. I don't know. You will be eliminated. I want to move the damn thing. Why can't I move the window? Can't even resize the window. I'll just get rid of it then. Oh, whatever. Uh, he's not anywhere near dead yet. Can I not do this in combat? Control and click to... Oh, right click for mini list. That one. There we go. Talon of the Tempest. Illidari Doomhawk is the only thing I... Oh, because the, the axe, you can only get it on certain... Yeah, obviously, because it's uh, class dependent. Okay. A Warlock is not going to get it. Ah, oh, Talon of the Tempest, though. We got the dagger. There we go. We got the dagger. Shiny, shiny. One more thing to add to the collection. Just the goddamn... Goddamn mount now. We can check, actually. We can toggle all the things to show everything. Um, I can't remember how you do it. Uh, account mode? Turn on this setting if you want to track all of the things for all of your characters, regardless of class and race filters. Yes, that's the one. That should then... There we go. So that's now showing everything that we still need from this dude. See, that's not true because we got the gun yesterday. I got the gun yesterday. Why didn't it track the fact that we've got the gun? Maybe it's because it's not on this account. Hmm. Shiny, shiny, stabby, stabby. Indeed. Indeed. Right, well, that was attempt 30 then. Get another 10 kills out of the way. Then we'll probably... Uh, what should we do after that? I need to do... Um, annoyingly, I need to do... Oh, that's what we might do. Is anybody? Does anybody need a whole bunch of archivist reputation? I'm thinking it might not be a bad idea to uh, grind out some archivist's rep. I still haven't got T uh, 
uh, tier 6 on my main character. Which I really just need to do. Um, simply because it then will give me a 50% bonus to any other characters I need to gain Archivist rep on. Um, which means at this point, I really should just do it. Um, whoa! Can we, can, we, can we chill with that, please? Doing all the, doing all the, the squishes. Oh, dear God. Oh, we're going to die here. Fuck! I mean, oh no. Family friendly. Oh, well, okay. I'll let it off. We got a transmog. If we get a transmog out of it, it's fine. If we get a transmog, it's fine. Sense the mount incoming. We should be getting close. We should be getting close. Just take the res sickness. Yeah, but then it kills the. Like, you you got to remember that res sickness. Uh, res sickness lasts ten minutes. <laughs> I'm not going to be logged on to this character for ten minutes. I heard you say "ack," so everything's fine. <laughs> That'll do then. You're only targeting at 10%. Yeah, I know, but I, you know, durability damage and, you know, cost money to repair and I'm, I'm cheap. I've got no gold. Can't afford repairs. Probably an upgrade that thing actually. Oh no, because we're still low level, so it doesn't doesn't even count. Doesn't even count. Uh, what attempt was that? That that was thirty one. We need to update the counter. We update the counter when we log out though. Um, I'm going to wait for him to stop doing his stompy stomp. So if he instantly squishes me again, somebody's going to get hurt real bad. Oh, get out of here. Thirty-one. Never lucky. Next one. Yeah, I think I need, I think I need about seven or eight thousand archivist reputation to hit uh, tier six, which is the equivalent of what, like, is what one sixteen thousand catalogued research points or whatever the fuck they're called. Which, in theory, you could just grind for, uh, but it requires the it requires having a group. Just do the weekly quest; it's fast. Yeah, I think I've already done it this week. Did eight k rep in two days just by dailies. But th see, this is it. If I actually just get it into the routine of just logging on to the character, I should be able to smash it out relatively quickly. It's just, you know, it's one of those things I just need to just need to do it. Talk about it less and just do it. So maybe once we get, we've, uh, we'll get up to 40 attempts. 
Because I don't want the entire stream this week to be just killing this goddamn stupid boss. Who doesn't appear? Oh, there he is. He is spawning. Note to self, wait for somebody else to pull him. Fifty-two demon hunter. Yeah, be careful. Do not proceed. You will be <laughs> you see that hunter? You saw the hunter just aggro run the fuck away. Peace out. See you later. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh no. He's pulled aggro. Could go and help, but it's dangerous. Especially as melee. I think we got squished on this death knight yesterday, you know. I know this is real Skamaz tactics, but, you know, I'd rather not die every time. My efficiency level goes through the floor if we die on every single tune. Oh, he ran away then. I thought he reset. I thought that would be annoying. I don't think he has the ability to reset, but I mean, I'm sure if people dragged him all the way out, he probably would, but... Oh! Ah! Oh. We got the boots. See, we're getting relatively consistent drops today. The transmog drops have been way more frequent than they were yesterday. We were never lucky yesterday in comparison. We've had a whole bunch of drops today. Maybe there's, um... Maybe there is some, um... You know, if the, once the, once the, uh... Once the loot table is smaller, there's a... It, I don't know. Maybe... It, there's probably not, but... That's me trying to claim there's some catch-up or bad luck protection system in place when they're blatantly isn't but Technically, I can do it on these lower level. Ca yeah, sure, why not? Do not proceed. You will be eliminated. See, I was about to zoom in on this dude even still, because I was like, ah, oh, if I get in trouble, I got bubble. But the fact that he can one-shot you still makes me uh, cautious to just dive in. And this earthquake ability slaps if you're melee. It's not, not fun. Right, I'm bored though, just standing around. Let's 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 rock in. Let's let's do some business. Oh, hang on! All my keybinds are totally weird. This is not my paladin keybinds. What's going on? Shift two consecration. That's not right. Shift two is stun. Uh. Hmm. 
lay on hands shift one. No, that's oh dear god. Uh, lay on hands is F. That's there. That's meant to be there. That's mouse wheel up that one. That's there. That's there. That. Whoa, everything's broken. There we go. No, that's there. Oh, fuck off with your instant kills. Stupid game. Stupid, stupid. Right, you got you got to give me the mount now. After all of that shenanigans, you got to give me the mount. It's only fair. 37 got... Son of a... Uh. <laughs> for the content. For the content. Keep telling myself it's for the content. <laughs> no loot and a death. Never lucky. I don't even know what it abili what ability it is that just insta squishes you, but it's really annoying. Lightning wrath hit you for a hell of a lot. Yeah, that earthquake does a reasonable amount, but then lightning wrath just wrecks your day. Playing as a ranged rogue. So that's an oxymoron, really. Surely. A ranged rogue. I suppose rogues can use uh, pistols and whatever. Do not proceed. Do not proceed. I've already been eliminated. Give me a break. Kind of annoying though how the uh, the run back to your corpse takes longer than killing the boss in the first place. Not played a rogue since Wrath, so I just found some ranged ability and just spammed it. Yeah, I mean as long as you just like get the tag on the dude, and that's about it. Like th th this do this Doomwalker could be a real annoyance for that for those who are just never lucky and aren't fortunate enough to have an army of alts to farm this on every day. In, like, in 10 days' time, when most people have got the mount and most people are not killing it, and people are just quite literally leeching kills, um, it might get quite annoying to actually kill this thing on anything other than, like, a max-level character. This is kind of why I'm, um focusing pretty heavily on it in the first couple of days because i know i can log on and there'll be 20 people pew pewing it nearly all day but in a few days time it might be uh, a little bit more annoying to kill well, that was 33 seven more attempts i'm trying to think where those seven attempts come from can't think which seven ca Oh, probably because I uh, use my... We've got three characters on Draenor, three characters on Torin Mill. Um, yeah, that probably makes sense. I haven't even set up the UI on this, dude. Do not have a pet. That's a lie. There's the pet. Go. I won't even move. I'll just stand here. My wolf, will, wolf is off tickling him from somewhere. I'll just chill here. <laughs> this is the, see, hunter privileges. I'm not getting anywhere near this dude. Not getting anywhere near this dude. Oh no, he squished my wolf. What do you mean your pet is not dead? He absolutely is. I need to get closer. Okay, we need to, we need to, we do need to make sure that we actually get the tag properly.
Definitely not a melee friendly boss, this one. Uh, hello? There's definitely a bunch of lobies trying to kill him now. He's running around like a moron, which means he's running up to somebody, he's squishing them, and then he's going to the next person with threat. Additionally, his health is not going down, which is quite worrying. I'll just, just do epic DPS and solo him then, I guess. Oh, my keybinds are not set right. Uh, wh where's my disengage button? Oh, disengage, I've just got to mouse wheel down. That's not right. This is it, you know. This is it. I can feel it. It's coming. I can feel it in my little hunter bones. This kill is taking so long. <laughs> so long. Because we got level 32 monks trying to tank it. Who gets squished? Uh... Oh, we deserve the mount on this one. Oh, good God. Two percent, one percent. Get shit on. Boom! 36 gold. Never lucky. Never lucky. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Probably get some cancel scans on the go at the same time, actually, thinking about it. Or at least see if we sold anything. Uh, that was the last character on this realm. Let's do... Let's do Torn Mill characters next. Is at least these are level 60. There we go, that's convenient. A few minutes time, we can relist all of this stuff. That's good. Hello, game. Please do not kill me. For the love of all that's holy. Oh! 220! I'll take it. Nice little upgrade there for us. Nice little upgrade for us. Nice quick kill. Little upgrade. 
Don't mind if I do. Uh, did they buff the gear drops? Um, th if anything, they've nerfed them. Uh, oh, you're oh, you're getting way too many. Oh, I said oh, the drops. I'm not sure. It was original. They were originally meant to be 226 bits of gear though, but they dropped them down to 220. Probably because you know, 226 is a little bit strong for what is basically free gear. Uh, this dude is all the way in Revendreth. I don't particularly want to take him over, so we'll do this one next. Did I upgrade the kill count? Oh shit, now I don't know. I don't think I did. I got too excited that we got some loot. I think that was 35. Why is it telling me that Convoke is on 4 when it's really not? That was a quick one. Hoping by 40 kills we'd have this mount. It's not looking good though, is it? Not looking good. There he is. There he is. Dead game, by the way. The amount of players that are killing this dude at the moment. I guess in theory, well, I suppose it's kind of it not very representative of the player base, considering it's probably there's probably five shards of this, which makes everyone look kind of busy because it's uh out world content, so. But it's kind of cool to see players, you know. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen World of Warcraft with this many people doing anything. Which is nice. Where he targeted me then. If he targets me, I need to press F really quickly. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven.
Come on then, Muthius. Who's going to be the one that gets the mount? Somebody's got to get it. Got to be soon. I feel it in my bones. It's kind of getting difficult to hype it up after 37 kills, though. Whoa, I got knocked back big time there. Literally, as I popped my cooldowns, lovely. What? Why, why can't I target him? What's going on? Um, why is... What? What? Why is my judgment not working? Why can I not press... What's going on? Literally none of my abilities work. Oh. Ah. Oh. I thought we had it then. Another bit of transmog though. Another piece of gear nonetheless. Uh, 220 piece of gear. Cheeky little upgrade. I'll take it. Not quite sure why I wasn't able to press my buttons, but either way. 38. Uh, why am I missing two characters? Oh, because my Black Market Auction House characters, I've not bothered to kill with them yet. They're the two I'm missing. I'll just find two other random characters. Um, let's take... I think I've got level 50s over here. Here we go. Druid and a hunter. We'll take these two. These will be quick and easy to get to because I think they're standing next to portals. Um, portal to Stormwind first. Yeah, Stormwind, Caverns of Time, Kill Boss. Glad I'm getting some use though for my, uh, <laughs> for, the, for my army of alts. It, it would probably really frustrate me if I didn't have you know, quite so many characters to do this on. I'd, I'd be more annoyed about the, um... Oh, I've literally just missed the kill. I'd be more annoyed about the low drop rate if I didn't have quite so many characters. Just make your, uh, Black Market Watcher a Volpira and use the camp. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad idea. That also means I need a level 60 Volpira, though. Which I don't think I own. I don't think I have, I don't think I've got a Volpeer at level sixty. But yes, if I um if I start focusing on, or at least if I try and keep a closer eye on the eye on the black market auction house, I might start to, I might just make a dedicated character for it. So that they're not, you know, trying to do anything else.
It would kind of make sense if my bank characters on my other other accounts were my were also my black market auction house watchers. Now one of them is a Volpira and one of them's level 48 or something. So I'm I'm not too sure. I'm uh, overly excited though about making a. Uh, why am I resto? I'm not too sure I'm overly excited about leveling characters just for black market auction house stuff though. Um, if in doubt, just press tranquility, right? <laughs> is, this, is this how you resto nowadays? Dot the boss, heal yourself. That's how it works, right? Dot the boss, heal yourself. Press the win button. Uh, not on this dude. This dude doesn't have a win button. But you are right. Under normal cir normal druid circumstances, press the win button. Um, Crazy Karen does not have a win button. Oh, fuck off. Oh. Get out of here. Oh, I obviously didn't press the win button hard enough. <laughs> That would teach me for trying to leech kills. Come on, 16. You can do it, boys and girls. You can do it. Give me that mount. Get him down. Karen needs her mount. Karen wants to speak to the manager. Oh, I got excited then. We got some in. We got a neck piece. We are getting gear drops considerably more frequently today. Yesterday, I think we killed it 20 odd times and I maybe got two or three pieces of gear. Um, I'm at m what must be nearly a 50% drop rate on gear today. I've not, I've not kept track of gear drops because I didn't think to do it, but another death run of shame. Yeah. Maybe they've, um, either I was just unlucky yesterday or maybe I'm just getting a little bit more lucky today, but. It kind of does feel like they've increased the drop rate of the gear. Because I swear it was maybe two or three pieces of gear yesterday off 20 kills. We should also be thankful this is a daily kill though as well. There was some rumours floating around that this might be a weekly kill. So you'd only get two opportunities to kill it. Per, uh, per character, which would be bad. But it's a daily kill, so, you know, we can smash our face against the keyboard for a few days until we get the mount. I've technically got a lot more than just 20 characters that I can do this on, but the... Uh, my desire to spend more than a couple of hours a day Do killing this boss for a, for a mount that I don't actually want. <laughs> I'm genuinely doing it just, you know, because I can rather than because I actually even want it, which is double stupid, but just more bloody gold. Yeah, exactly. At this point, I don't want the gold. I want the mount. Give me the mount. You can keep the gold. You can keep your 40 gold. I don't want it. Thirty-nine. We'll do one more for today. We'll do one more.
Is that genuinely eight deaths today? Have I done that run of shame eight times? That's, um... That's really not good news. Because we've only killed it 19 times. That's nearly a 50% death rate. Ouch. Oh, that's eight in total. Oh, that's eight out of nearly 40. Ah, okay. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Woo! That's better. That's better. We, we can live with that one. Just tag and run. That's it. Tag and run. Poke and peace out. Just bonk. See you later. Shall I get my big foam sword out and just like... Just dive in with 2% left. Yeah. Do not proceed. You will be eliminated. You will be eliminated. I don't really know why I'm bothering to put Elf UI on, but it just kind of annoys me when my UI is not correct. There we go. Oh, I forgot it reloads twice. Come on, game. Quickly now. I'm going to miss the kill. Less dots. Less dots. Slow DPS. Relax. Now we're good. Uh, technically, I need to disable tidy plates. Uh, where's it gone? Uh, threat plates even, not tidy plates. Wait, why is it reload twice? Oh, uh, once to turn the add-on on and then once, once you've set it up. Three times now that I uh, <laughs> disable another add-on after. Right, there we go. Right. Run in. Poke. Poke. Press the win button. See you later. Peace out. Bye. Oh my god, he, st he still uh, he still slapped me. Thirty-eight gold. Stupid boss. All right. Well, there we go. There was our forty for today. Not today. Not today. Forty kills, unfortunately. Not today. Well, can't say we didn't try. Why have I got mail on this dude? Oh, the WoW dev team, of course. Can't say we didn't try. Well, I guess we know what we're doing tomorrow then. Ha-ha! <laughs> we're going to kill it more. Ah, I was really hoping we'd get it today. That's annoying. Oh, well, you can't win them all. Right. Now we need to get some uh, Archivist rep. We need to smash out some Archivist rep, I think. Need to get this good dude to tier 6. Getting this guy to tier 6 will mean that... Because uh, there's a few... In theory, there's a few characters I'd actually quite like to get tier 4 Archivist, Archivist's reputation on. Um, but I, I'm, you know, it's taking me longer than it needs to do because... Hmm, for reasons. Four tunes down, all gold. Yeah, do that 10 times and let me know if you get the mount. Well, we've nearly silenced the fact that it's quite a low drop rate on the mount though. 40 kills and uh, no mount. Uh, let's 
first maybe go and let, let's if we hearthstone to why is it asking me to put this on no i don't i don't want to put it on um for let's hearth back to seat the primus let's do our mission table real quick and then head over to corthia see we're um eight and a eight and a bit thousand rep through tier five so we we've got half a bar of reputation to get now, in th like I said, in theory, you can actually farm archivists' reputation nowadays, but there's uh, you it, you either you know come across very heavy diminishing returns, or you need to get a group together to do it somewhat efficiently. So we'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. And what have you done lately? Um, let's pick up the callings for no real reason whatsoever, just because we can grab a weapon and get in line grab a weapon and get in line got some meat on your bones huh oh wonder if we will get our first level 60 follower today or companion or whatever you want to call him Gorgrim hit level 50. Bonesmith is two and a half thousand away. Did we get a rep token? We did! Seven and a half thousand rep token. Oh, we'll use the small one on him. Boom, first level 60. Ding. Strength and resilience. Uh, I think there's also an achievement for getting all three of your soul binds to 60, so... Let's uh, let's dump these XP tokens into you then. There you go. Now, in theory, we can use that level sixty character. Uh, that level sixty should pretty much, in theory, be able to solo any mission. What we'll probably do is use him to farm up more of the XP tokens because then we can, you know, these missions themselves don't particularly give much experience. How long does it take to level followers nowadays? Um, well, I think level 49 is technically halfway in terms of uh, uh, experience needed. It's still, it still takes a long time. I don't think there's been any change to the XP requirements for them. But once they're level 50 plus, they're um once they're 50 plus, they can pretty much solo with the with the help of a couple of troops. I think the highest on my main is like 40. Yeah, there's they do need a lot of experience. I do kind of think that they, they they should ease up a little bit on the amount of experience needed, but do we not have any bonus XP missions today? No bonus XP missions. Well, let's just bang out some of these 1500 rep ones then, unless there's any mission we need for... No, there's no missions that we need for... Oh, hang on. What's this one? Uh, grandiose Designs. Oh, we do actually need that one for the achievement. Prioritize that one then. Plaguey, you can probably solo that, right? Boom! Plaguey for the win. That blob is a genius. Uh, what difficulty do you get to on the mission table? As in, do you finish all the campaign quests on the mission table? Um, I've only... I mean, I always prioritise the campaign because 
it unlocks the higher level missions that give you bigger and better things and more experience and stuff. Previously, there's been a lot of people that sort of speculated that, you know, stopping at like 16 is optimal, but nobody's ever really been able to prove that it's optimal. It's always, you know, based on a theory. Um, I kind of just think it's better to just unlock the higher level missions that give you big, bigger and better stuff. Um, I, don't, I mean, it's for me at least. <clears throat> the science of the mission table is pretty simple. The more missions you do, the more rewards you get. Um, whether you prioritize, you know, the big XP ones to level everybody up or not is kind of up to you. I tend to um, stack as many people on the big XP missions to level things up. And once they hit level 50 plus, that's when I'll probably ignore xp and just go purely for rewards but um i don't really focus on this so much anymore i just do it because i run past it every day not to mention venture plan is um not really reliable for the for the newer higher level missions anyway so it's kind of like eh, well just do it if you do it More gold, not a single piece of gear. Uh, the gear will start coming. The gear, will, the, the gear will come slowly. All right, let's head over to Corthia though. Uh, easiest way to Corthia, probably Ouroboros portal, Corthia portal. Because I don't really play any real content, uh, I'm still in an anima drought. There seems to be fewer anima quests at higher levels and overall quests are more difficult to complete. Um, yeah, there's probably an element of that. Uh, it's difficult for me to really gauge because this character that I'm doing the mission table on is my main. And so his covenant is maxed out and I get maximum anima rewards from everywhere. And I'm just absolutely flooded in anima. Um, to the point where I'm now looking at spending, just dumping anima into like silly rewards like pets and mounts and appearances and stuff. I've Because I've got no real other reason for it. The mission table is uh, kind of self-sufficient already. So, but yeah, if, you, if you've if you not leveled, because the first like, what is it? 60,000, the first 60,000 uh, anima that a character gains is or should be used in leveling up your covenant but anything past that you can then look to spend it on other stuff i think it's about sixty thousand. i can't remember the exact number uh not venari daily quests where's oh change the dominate corthia daily quests there we go not that I need Zygor's help, but I'll take it all the same. Hey, three Corthite crystals. <laughs> I need all the Corthite crystals I can get at the moment. You get a stupid amount of anima by just doing your daily stuff in Corthia. That is true. Like, once you've started... But it all it's a snowball effect, right? Because once you've uh, once you've got your archivist rep up a bit and you get the bonus rep, to the bonus anima tokens... You get like 25 anima for every time you do almost anything in Corthia now. Which really, really, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it really mounts up. Um, every time you kill a rare, every time you loot a treasure, every time you complete a daily quest, you've got that chance to gain 25% extra anima. Oh, sorry, not 25%, 25 extra anima. Um, so yeah, if you run around Corthia for 20 minutes on a character... You'll end up with boat loads of anima pretty quickly. And with all the catch up for Corthia now as well, it's um it's it's pretty simple to You can get to my theory is that if you've at least got to tier six with the Archivist Codex on one character, 
My theory is on alts, you can probably get to tier 4 in a single day or a couple of hours of play on an alt. I've not tested it, but I know for a fact you can get halfway through tier 3 without any bonus to reputation in Corthia. So when the catch-up does kick in, um, Corthia should be really quick. Especially now everybody knows the zone inside out. It's not really like it's a secret anymore to most people. Come here, bunny. Thanks to people like you, we get lots of Corthite crystals. I, on the other hand, stay behind Stormwind guards. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say I get a lot of Corthite crystals. I'm, I'm still firmly of the belief that them choosing to require you to have 40 Corthite crystals was an actual crazy move. Um, there's no way with the drop, even with the increased drop rates and, you know, there, there's no way that you should have ever needed 40 Corthite crystals to make a single legendary. I think I've farmed somewhere between 15 to 20 in total. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, unless you're engaging in the daily content, you just don't see them. But those that are engaging in the daily content see quite a few. Uh, is anybody else using the WoW anniversary? It's a good opportunity to level up some tunes. Extra 17% experience. I, I mean, I can't disagree with that. It is an incredibly good time to level alts. Upgrade some heirlooms. Put some heirlooms on a character. As long as you've unlocked flying. Um... Throw war mode on. Uh, heirlooms plus war mode plus 17% bonus. You can probably level a character from 50 to 60 in quite literally a few hours. I've seen people comfortably doing it in like between 4 to 5 hours. You can probably get it down to less than that if you know what you're doing as well. Ever since I got honoured and ranked 4, none of my alts have gone out of the mailbox range. Well, yeah, I'm the same. Uh, but for me, it's more more about how quickly can I get to rank 4 and honoured on my alts now. Because, of course, I'm not just trying to do it on one realm. I'm trying to do it on what is now three realms. Would be a fourth if I was keeping up to date with my NA account. But uh, I'm not at the moment as I just don't have time to do everything. I have the time, I don't have the desire. <laughs> this is the honest answer. I can blame things on time, but it's not true. Maybe should have uh, activated the event first, shouldn't I? Code new features. Test them by doing a restart, then log in. About twice a day to repost Legos. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame you. Collect grommet teeth. I didn't know that was a thing. What quest is this? Nasty big pointy teeth. Okay. Well, I've activated the event for people. What is this? Barricade Bill? Never seen this daily quest before. Hmm. Powerful Moor Sworn opens a portal into Corthia. Where did that happen? Ah, oh, all the way over there. Boo.
Let's just done log off and either deal with apartment stuff or RuneScape or CSGO. Never ever got into CSGO. I enjoyed FPS games uh, when I was much younger. But I've not really... I For starters, FPS game... Well, I mean, it's, it's hard to even call CSGO an FPS game. You are technically first person shooting, but you're a... It's what I consider a, a Twitch shooter. But yeah, CSGO was, um, never really grabbed me. You should get into CSGO, that's how I bought my house. Uh, what? In WoW, the game economy uses go, uh, gold. In CS:GO, the game economy uses US dollars. Well, I suppose. Yeah, it's all the skins, isn't it? thing drop a mount lord of the corpse flies it does i've killed it i can't even begin to think how many times i've killed this thing because my main character's necrolord and every time i run past it i activate it i'm surprised i haven't got this mount by now it's gonna be another one of those never luckies Gromit teeth. Where do we get Gromit teeth from? Probably get them from Wallace, right? I cannot see no Gromits. Oh, these are from Fierce Gromits. Okay. Two of six. Two of six. I wonder if, um, now that we've had confirmation that flying's gonna be- Did we really only get one from those? That flying's gonna be a thing in, um, the new zone, Zerith Mortis. I really hope they don't do it kind of like what they did with, uh, like Najatar. That you have to grind out and basically complete the entire zone on foot first. Because that's just annoying. I'm gonna tell you that in advance, Blizzard, before we even get a PTR. If you're going to make me do the entire... If you're going to make a zone that's designed with flying in mind, and then you're going to make me do the entire zone on foot first, just to slow me down, we will, uh... Me and you will not be friends, Blizzard. If you're going to make the zone large and with flying in mind, I really hope that they do the honourable thing of actually just giving us flying relatively quickly. It's always a... Con like, a, a contentious thing. Every time they gatekeep flying from people, it annoys, annoys the player base. And I don't see why Blizzard keep 
deliberately doing it. Like, sh uh, there's there's many things that you can, you know, time gate from us. Don't time gate from us the one thing that is, like, easily the number one quality of life function in the game. <laughs> the ability to travel fast. You make us buy epic flying. You incentivize us to buy all of these flying mounts. And then they go out of their way to limit the amount of time that we can use flying. It's easily one of my biggest annoyances with WoW. I love the game, but my god, they like either take flying out of the game, grow some balls and just take flying out of the game, or just let us constantly use flying. This kind of, you can sometimes fly and sometimes you can't. You can fly in this zone, but you can't fly in th that zone. You have to grind rep with these guys before you can get on the back of the flying mount you already know how to use. It's gross. Hardly played Najatar due to how tedious it was without flying. Oh, it was a horrible zone on foot. It was actually aggressively bad on foot. Even when you have flying, the 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 way the zone is laid out is is really quite bad. Is there anything worth grinding Corthia for? Is there anything worth grabbing ahead of 9.2 apart from just all the things stuff? Um, I, I can't necessarily say that anything that's going to directly benefit you in 9.2 because we don't know enough about 9.2 yet. But what I will say is that, for example, 168 gear still kind of sells and that was like 9.0 more um, going into patch 9.2 uh, there's a likelihood that you know whatever catch-up gear we get for patch 9.2 9.1 catch-up gear will still probably sell um, obviously yeah I, I, I can't say specifically because we don't know enough about 9.2 but only getting gold from doomsayer yeah, that seems to be the way. Oh, do I need to talk to this dude first? What are we waiting for? Oh, okay. I did need to talk to... Sure. Still got to finish the Mechagon achievements. Burnt out by doing Najatar. Yeah, I really want that crab. That, see, that's the, that's the annoying thing. I still, to this day, want to go back and do Najatar because... One of the only mounts in the game that I actually think is quite cool that I really want is the crab. And I, I'm actually really quite close. I just need to park... The problem is, is that I need to park my character in Najatar. Otherwise, I'm never going to remember to do the daily quests. Because I need to get my... the There's the three followers in Najatar. Um, I still need to get them to 30. Which is the time-consuming thing, because it's the time-gated element of it. The um, And then I think there's like one or two rares I need to kill. Which, if I just need to kill a rare, it's I just ask the stream to find it for me. It shouldn't be too difficult. Somebody will be on a dead realm and it will just be spawned and, you know, zone in, kill it. They've recently made the Mechagon achievements, or the meta... Mechagon achievement easier to obtain though. Some of the annoying uh, percentage based drop chances have been made 100% drop chance. From the Dead Realm board though. Yeah, that's, that's where we might have a problem. <laughs> yeah, I can always ask the stream, but most of the, most of the time, well, half the reason I don't ask, don't call on stream privileges more frequently is because of exactly that you know can we get a group together to do this yeah sure if you play horde hmm. <laughs> there's the problem uh where's this nest then this nest is over here all right well we're gonna have to kill these on the on route
Uh, what are we after now? Seven more sworn Grim Wars. Well, Grim Wars? Grim War? Grim War? Grim You say Tamara. Oh, there's a key. Oh, that's the second key. We just need to find one more key then. Oh, so uh, the does the the spectral chest thing definitely is bugged. By the way, um, now even a few times I've collected all of the keys and I go to the chest and it's not there. Um, it's definitely bugged. I don't quite know what the problem is with it, but luckily, dog shit loot comes out of it anyway, so it's fine. But yeah, the spectral chest. If you collect all three keys, there's a 50-50 chance the chest despawns on you instantly. It's definitely broken. If you walk back, if you walk away and go back, it comes back. Yeah, see, it's definitely bugged. There's, there's, there's probably some wizardry you can do, but it's probably a phasing thing. Try and find it in the rift. That's a good shout, actually. Oh, Scholar's Ancient Pack. That's a 32 slot bag. We can sell that. They sell really well. That's a guaranteed thousand gold right there. Oh, and a chest, look. Cheeky chest, don't mind if I do. Yoink. One, two, three. Tag you as well. Four. Oh shit, where do you come from? Um, you can go away. Growl on my pet. That's uh, that's what's going on. I thought something fell off. <laughs> Wondering why I was taking unnecessary damage and aggro all the time. Cause I forgot how to play a hunter. Oh, what? Not a single drop from those dudes. Game's rigged. And not in my favour. Hunter without growl? Yeah, I'm not quite sure why it wasn't switched on, but it wasn't switched on. I might have turned it off for uh, killing Deathwalker or whatever his name is, actually thinking about it. Um, because, of course, the last thing I want to do on that dude is uh, pull aggro. Uh, more shroom. Where? This one. Oh, and the nest is spawned. Saying that, I keep forgetting to turn it on when soloing Legion raids. Yeah, because it turns... Oh, you've already... Yeah, it, yeah, because it turns it off automatically, doesn't it? Oh, forget the uh, forget the nest. Let's go do the uh, portal. 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 Yoink. Oh, now's uh <laughs> now would be a good time to not have growl on my pet, for example.
Bingo. Give me all the loot. Purple loot. Nah. Stupid boss. Is the nest still up here? Yoink. Oh, and relic breakers on. See if we can get there. Oh, I've run out of goblin gliders. Oops, let me just log on to my... Let me just jump on my long boy real quick and buy some more. I don't think anybody's... Is anybody aggroder? Yeah. Uh, let, let, let's go kill the rare then. Prioritize the rares, I think. Who's me coming through? Drop anything good? Uh, apparently nothing. Nada. Nothing that interests me. Apart from hopefully lots of relic fragments. What is this ability going on? What's this druid doing? Some eye beam shit on the go. You're a druid, not demon hunter. Relax. Mature ossified beak. What does ossified mean? Shouldn't it be like ossalized? Isn't that a word? Ossalized isn't a word, right? Ossified. I swear Blizzard just making shit up at this point. Uh, isn't it a named mob you have to kill? Oh, it's this dude we're killing. Oh. Oops. Oh, well. Get this stupid thing off. There we go. Beautiful. Now, normally, I would follow Zygor and take the uh, the fastest route back, but on the fact that I can see see Popo. Popo is on his travels. We can go rescue Popo on the way back. We could, in theory, go and do the escaped Wilderling, but we're not Night Face, so we're never getting that anyway. Oh, a purple one. Ripped cosmology chart. Four of them. 
400 catalogued research points. Yoink. That's what we need. Do with some more of those. Every rare you kill, you can get research. Thought you were grinding research. That is very true, actually. You make a good point. You do make a good point. Popo's Kyrian only. To activate, yeah. That doesn't mean you can't kill the boss. Stupid soul, stupid crescent thing. I got excited it was a purple then. It was the wrong purple. Let's go kill the Wilderling anyway though. Mushroom, mushroom. I'm not sure if the loot box you get from this actually has um, research things in it. Either way, kills a kill. One more, one more. Boom. Talon pierced more sworn lockbox. Where is it? Here it is. Oh, hang on. Let's wait till we land. Faded razor wing autonomy illustrations times three. Nah. 150 points. Cool. We'll take it. Uh, there's probably some mushrooms this way. I think this one was off a minute ago. Don't know how you get it though. Come around this way? I don't know. Is it even still up? Probably not. No. Yeah, I'm not going to wait around for a mushroom. Oh, damn. Hang on. I need to be careful not to die. Should usually be priority number one. Not dying. Oh, yeah, now you spawn. Son of a... Uh, how do we even get to that one? Oh, it's here, look. Don't be a dick. Let me up. There we go. Beautiful! Should really clear the zone, but might try and find a rift group. or we'll see if we can put together a rift group. Does anybody know the um, the route for the rift to, to kill all of the uh, oh god, what are they called the the big elite dudes that drop the research points. 
I can never remember their name. Terrible with names. Familiars? Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Somebody's, uh, if somebody knows the route, I certainly wouldn't object to putting a group together. Have you come bearing tribute? Be swift and nimble. Ooh, necromancer vestments. Yoink. Surely you have other duties to perform. Always getting bigger. They all do it. You are seen. Uh, let's go grab that nest because it's right round the corner here. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. No falling off. Not today. Hardcore, hardcore. Well, a sweep of dailies and killing a few rares without, you know, camping. Still less than 2,000 research points. Which is, uh, is why we need to farm these rifts, I think. I might go, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. If, somebody, if somebody's willing to put a group together... Um, to d to do the rift, I would uh, much appreciate it. Uh, but I'm gonna take a quick break for two minutes, boys and girls. I'll be back in a second. I'll actually press the add button now. I might remember to do it. <clears throat> back in two minutes. Okie dokie, okie dokie, dokie dokie, okie. Right, so, what would be, is there a, you know what would be really helpful? What would be really helpful would be if there was a roots 
module. If there was a roots root for these, what are they called? Fell sworn familiars or something. That would be incredibly useful. Uh, uh, have they changed the spectral bound chest in Corthru? It's not there for me after collecting three keys. It's bugged. It's bugged to all hell. Sometimes you pick up the three keys and then it despawns instantly. Uh, apparently, if you zone out and zone back in, it might turn up again and you can open it. Um, but it's it's definitely bugged after the 915 pat. Uh, what are they called? Uh, Fell Sworn. Is it Fell Sworn Familiars? Or have I just made that word up? What, uh, what are they called? What are they called? What are they called? What are they called? Somebody said in chat a minute ago. What were they called? Um, I really wish I could remember their names. Uh, didn't Rex Troy do a video on them? Ah, yeah, here we go. Archivist Codex Rep. 10k an hour. Fam no, Famished Darkness? Is that what it is? Yes, these things. Famished Darknesses. They're the ones. Famished Darkness. These things. These things. Right, okay. So what we kind of could do then... we could uh we could do with putting together a bit of a route for these bad boys um in theory though the route seems pretty simple run around the moor until you've killed them all it doesn't seem to actually be too more complicated than that but at the with the look of this you could probably come out of Corthia Run through the Beast Warrens. Uh, probably ignore these ones. You probably want to do a lap through here. Through Peridish and Hold. Back. Come back on yourself up through this way. Go to the left towards the Crucible of the Damned. Loop round here. Go up to the Tremaculum. And then down this way. Skirting back round here. And then through here, finally finishing over here. And then in theory, rinse and repeat if you have time. But that that route itself, whilst also killing the dudes, is probably going to take 15 minutes. I would guess. You won't have time to do it all. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Unless you're in a group that's got just bonkers DPS, um, you won't have time to do all of it. So you'll never complete more than one lap. But that's probably quite cool. Ah, this is going to be, uh, we could get a little roots route made, which can then be easily distributed because everybody has roots, right? Because everybody's a farmer. Okay, that's handy. Um, do I have roots on this character? No. <laughs> Everybody has roots, he says. Uh, Add-ons. Surely I have roots on this character.
Do they drop relics then? Yeah, they do. They're, they're elites, but they have a similar drop table to any rare. So it's like in 15 minutes, you can... Um, in the 15 minute rift timer, you can run through and kill these. And it's the equivalent of killing like 10 rares in 15 minutes. It's outrageously fast if you can get a good group together. Which for archivist rep, it's, you know, like 10k rep an hour. If you're, if you're doing it efficiently. If only there was a YouTuber that could, you know, make a video about it and, you know, tell his community about it. Um, Roots, add root, select zone, uh, more. Is it more or is it the more? I hope it's not the, because everything begins with the. Oh, it is. It's everything begins with the. The more. Okay. Sources of data. Um, probably none of this shenanigans. Name of the root. What were these dudes called? These dudes were called Famished Darkness. Famished Darkness in the moor. Go. Create bare root. Edit root manually. Edit root. Right, so. So. What we can do now, <laughs> if only, uh, using this little uh, wow head. So you come into, you're going to come in, you, if you take the portal, which is in here, you're going to run in this way, right? You're going to run in this way to the beast warren. So we're going to start down here. You're going to first then move over to this point. There should be one about here. Uh, add a node in for around here. You basically just want to follow this route and kill any that you see. So I'm not going to make the route too, too complicated. But then you want to come across the bridge. Go across the bridge this way. Into here. Uh... There's going to be one about here. You want to move up towards the entrance to Peridition Hold. This is where you want to firstly go into Peridition Hold. Across the bridge. Because there's one that spawns on the other side of the bridge. Then you want to go back over the bridge. And come out this way again. Come out the way you go in. Up to about here, up to this junction. Then you want to take a left. You want to go this way. You want to go probably. Now, this is where. This is where you first probably want to go into the Misty River bit. And you probably want to come this way first. Because there's usually a couple in the Crucible of the Damned somewhere. Then you probably want to come out of the Crucible of the Damned up this direction. And go up here. Because there's a chance for some to spawn around this zone. Uh, then you want to kind of backtrack on yourself. Come this way. Towards the pit area. You probably want to go round up and round across the bridge. You don't want to be in the pit, I don't think. Now, one thing I am going to clarify here is I've not tested this route. This is only going by known spawn locations of these things on Wowhead. Um, we, will, we, will, we will put this to the test. Come up this way. You're going to follow through up along this area. Some spawn this way. Now, the question is, is do you at this point, do you at this point just go back into this misty river bit? Or do you just cut across and go across the bridge here? I think 
You probably go across the bridge, I think. You go across the bridge. And then you want to come down this way. Because there's the chance for some to spawn down here. You want to run through this way. Come back out here. Uh, near... There's no real reason to go to Venari's Refuge this way, but there are some that spawn here. That seems to be nearly the route. What you probably want to do is when you've come across this bridge, given the opportunity, there are some that spawn up this end. Now, the likelihood of you ever getting to them is slim, but we should maybe put it there. So that appears to me to be based on, to be based on this. Do we think that that's kind of rep... I know it's probably a little bit hard to see. But do we think that's kind of representative of a fair route to follow to hit as many possible spawn locations for these famished darknesses? I think that kind of makes sense. So you're going to come you're going to come out of court once you've jumped into the rift, you're going to come out you're going to go across to the southern part of the Beast Warrens where you've got this cluster. And you're going to kind of, you know, work your way through here, killing anything that you go through. Once you've done the Beast Warrens, you want to go into Peridish and Hold. Come in, cut through the middle. This little bit I'm not too sure about, but there seems to be a lot of spawn locations here. So, you know, do as you will. But you want to go into Peridish and Hold. I remember for a fact that there's one that spawns on the other side of this bridge. So you have to come across the bridge and go back again. Because you've got no real choice in the matter. <laughs> then you come out of Peridish and Hold. Cross over this middle section where there's a bunch here. On your way to the Crucible of the Damned. Go through the Misty River to get there. I don't know what this thing's called. I'm going to call it the Misty River. But you know what it is. Work your way up through, up north through this section. Come a, cut across to try and get these spawns before going up and around to the Tremaculum. And then you're on the return journey. So you've probably killed most of the stuff in here that you've come across. By this point, you're probably 12 minutes into the run anyway. But if you get to come back this way, you can. Ignoring Venari's Refuge because there's nothing that spawns up that way. Give yourself a second chance for the stuff in the middle. And then finally across the bridge. And if you happen to have time, up into the Beast War the northern part of Beast Warrens. Eh, that sounds sensible to me. That looks pretty good. Maybe we'll test that. We'll see if this is a, a route that works. Maybe um, if some people want to come and help test, we can put a rift together and we can go and run this route and see... A, how far we get. B, if there's any adjustments needed to be made to the route. But it seems to me to be um, not bad, I think. We, we, from from purely a stealing spawn locations from Wowhead, it seems to be alright. What we should probably do, actually, is check if we close this. Because um, they are also found in Corthia. Now, you see, there's 194 spawn locations in Corthia, but in reality, there's probably only going to be about four that you can find in Corthia, which is why most people go to the moor to farm them. It's quicker and easier to, you know, start the rift in Corthia, run out up into the moor, and then start your journey, realistically. I mean, if you're lucky, you can, uh, because you start the... Where's the, where's the cave? The cave's, uh, it's here, isn't it? caves here so you start here so if you're lucky you might come out and get the first one here but what you're actually doing is heading north into the beast into the southern part of the beast warrens if you if you find this one cool great if you don't just ignore it maybe we could do a second route for just uh yeah it's not going to be anywhere near as optimal though because getting over to here is a pain in the ass if you're in the rift I mean, you can do it, but it's not, you know. It's n I can see why people farm the moor for them, rather than Corthia. Right. Let's put it to test. Let's put it to test. 
Um, save root edit. Uh, line settings, line color. Can I make it a bit easier for people to see? Uh, red is probably not a bad color because it's in high contrast to the zone and the map. Uh, oh, on the mini map, we can change it. Mini map. Seven thousand two hundred seventy one yards long. Taboos? What are taboos? I don't use this route side on anywhere near as much as I should do. Hey, because I'm not a farmer, right? Um Nodes in these taboo regions are ignored and not included in a route. Oh, so this is for when it's making the route automatically. I see, I see. <clears throat> Oh, I see. Right, can we... Where's line settings? Can I rename it? How do you rename it? Uh, can I not rename it? Oh, here. Um... Archivist rep, Amish darkness, shameless sellout. Boom. Right, let's give that a go. Let's give that a whirl. <clears throat> What's this? Oh, I've still got... See, I've got my route showing for um, my my daily run around Corthia to hit all of the nodes. See, I do use routes occasionally. Just probably not as frequently as I should. Right then. Uh, on that note then, uh, I need four willing people to come and give this little route a test. Um, obviously, requirements are going to be that you need a rift key. Uh, I mean, there are a hundred things. Just go buy one. Uh, whisper me if, in fact, maybe I'll put it to get. Uh, I'll put a group together in Group Finder, make it easier. Pre-made group, custom start group. Uh, uh, Manthea's test rift. Call it Manthea's test run. Matthew's test run, EU, Alliance, War Mode Off, I should specify. Go grab yourself a Rift Key if you haven't got one already. Trust in the purpose. Let's dump all of our relics off so we flatline the quantity. A true scholar uh, clean our bags out a little bit and all. Drop our, drop our Anima off. Two and a half thousand anima just for running around Corthia for 20 minutes. See, this is the thing, right? Once once your character has progressed so far that you've unlocked all of the uh, the cheeky bonuses, <laughs> like anima just gets thrown at you. Literally thrown at you. Move our way down to the uh, down to the cave. What's the name of the group again? Uh, Mantheus Rift uh, Test. Mantheus Test Run. Crunchy's coming in. Does anybody else want some quick and easy archivist reputation? Two and a 
241. Show off. <laughs> right. EU Alliance. Archivist reputation. If anybody wants in, if we can get another couple of people together. I would uh, preferably like to get a full group of five if we can. A tank would be... Uh, more than appreciated if somebody's got the ability to tank. If not, I'm sure a couple of hunters can do bits. Oh, all the hunters. Let's get all the hunters on the go. All the hunters. Two more spots, two more available. We can't go with more than five, unfortunately, because the um the tag limitations. You could arguably 2 by 4 farm it, I suppose. What uh, what needs to be tanked? Uh, it's not so much. It's not hardcore tanking. It's an elite. I mean, my pet can probably tank them, but it's just, uh, just you know. They don't, they, they don't particularly hit too hard. No need for over, overly geared. It's these things. They, ha they have like 700k health. They're not just, they're not mega. They're elites, but they're 62 elites, but they're not too ridiculous. It's more to just hold it in place. <clears throat> Archivist Codex, one day to Exalted. Yes, there we go. Some, somebody else has worked this out as well. But the uh, the bonus of this is, is look, they, they have the Corthian Relic drop chance, the, the runes, the cubes, the designs. These are all 150 research ones. Um... And obviously they drop. Basically their drops are similar to that of, you know, like level 62 elite rares. So they're pretty good. Two more spots if somebody wants to join in. We've got three hunters, so it's going to be pretty pew pew damage. Head over to the, uh, head over to the, the rift portal entrance. Just come, uh, come, come find me. Two more spots, boys and girls. Who wants in? It's an easy archivist rep. Oh, you got funky spectral wolves. I'm loving the wolves. Horde, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, I come, this is the problem. Every time we try and put a group together, that's always the problem. Oh, I can come, but I'm Horde. Oops. So many hunter pets. These are my trusty faithfuls. It's going to be a hunter party at this rate. Once I've... Um... Easy fix, reroll horde. Well, you say that. Uh, I do have multiple horde characters that I need to do this on. Um, because I want to unlock tier 4 on a bunch of vaults. And they're all horde, so... Um... We will, we will definitely be putting some horde groups together if this ends up being a nice way to get some cheeky rep. Uh, anyone else before I rename it and open it up to General Joe Public? We could probably do it as three, but it's going to be more efficient the more people we can get. I don't want people to accidentally die in the rift that's no fun for anybody i mean hunters shouldn't die full stop but you never know forgot to change my transmog for the, sh the shame you look like a lumberjack i mean you're i mean you're 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 for shaming on your mog i mean if you see mine my outrageous travesty of a transmog which is basically no transmog at all
Oh, there we go. Now we're done. Now we're good. Right, I think it's time to uh, open the group up to General Joe. Uh, Rift, run. Uh, war mode, off. Call it a rift run and instantly you get people wanting to join. 226 Shaman, that'll do. From Silver Moon, nonetheless. One more and then we can give this a test. I'm hoping this route is pretty good. Um, I've done this run a few times on this character already, so I think it's uh, it's not too bad. 168 mage. That mage is going to die. 168 mage is going to get squished. Um, we'll take a 168 mage if we have to. I'm not going to be too elitist about it, but. These are going to be 62 elite. I mean, they're not, you know, they're not crazy. I ain't clicking that button. Use Gamaz. I'm not clicking the free anima. I mean, a fifth character is better than not having a fifth character. This farm is really painful without gear, just saying. Well, yeah, I know. it's You, you want as much DPS as possible. I'm not particularly too fond about taking it. There we go. That's Oh, a, two, a 211 tank. Much better. <laughs> Definitely getting the win on that one. Take a pally tank all day long. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I'm on the telly. <laughs> Need more hunters. Can never have enough hunters. Poor mage. I'm sorry, mage. I mean, you can buy 200 gear off the auction house. I'd happily take you, but... <laughs> I'm famous until I die. Well, you never die as a hunter. Or you shouldn't anyway, because, you know, you, you've got the feign death button. It's all good. Right, so boys and girls, uh, I th I'm I'm going to be testing the route. Hopefully, it should be pretty unique. We'll wait for uh, wait for our tank friend to turn up. Hopefully, everybody's got their rift uh, key. Um, maybe I'll. Put a marker on my head. Let's see if we're all ready to rock and roll. Boom. Let's roll. In we go, boys and girls. Let's go get ourselves some free Archivist rep. We kill things. All the things. Uh, I suppose as we have a tank as well, it's probably not the worst idea if we turn Growl off on pets. Just saying. 
Hunters do hunter things. If we can avoid killing anything other than the big things that we're trying to kill. If you get d dismounted though, obviously, you know. Right, so, let's head up this way. If you spot one, shout. <laughs> if you spot one, shout. This is testing the route, so if it doesn't if it doesn't go perfectly, it doesn't go perfectly, but I'm gonna try and make sure and check that I don't leave people behind. Here we go. Famished darkness. Pew pew. Um, I'll turn growl off. Now these dudes hopefully should give us all of the reputation in the world. Uh, Death's Tempest can be stunned I think by the way. As you can see, they don't really, uh, they, they, they basically just tickle. Boom! Four purple cubes. Get in with the four purple cubes. That's what we're looking for. Stream of luck. Now why can't why can't I have had that stream of luck earlier when we were hunting for uh, hunting for mounts? Right, this is oh okay. Well, there's a dude. Smooth as silk, that shaman is pumping. Love it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, three more purple dudes. Ah, oh, this feels like cheating. This feels like cheating. Uh, now, normally, Zoval's chest is not the worst idea, but I think we'll ignore Zoval's for the purpose of this because it takes too goddamn long. There's another fella, look. Three cubes, nice, 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 nice. That's what we want. Everybody wants to get all the loot. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. D list. Sorry, we're closed. Uh, right, in theory, we should actually be going into Peridition Hold. Have I maybe... Can we get through the gate? Let's go through Peridition Hold. Uh, as there's definitely ones in here. I got dismounted, goddamn, because I opened the gate. Um... Oh, well, there we go. There's one. Kill it! Kill it! 
Kill it with fire. See, I've in in killing just a few of these things in what like six minutes, I've gained more catalogued research points in six minutes than I did in doing a full daily sweep in Corthia. These things are OP as all hell. Uh, now we need to go to the end and over the bridge. Yes, there's a uh, oh well for starters, there's another dude right there. Look, there he is. Slap his ass. I think then this is the dude that spawns over there so we can just turn around and come back out the way we came after killing this one we came what are we eight minutes in so we're not doing too bad for time i can definitely see that there's no way you're going to complete a full lap in 15 minutes unless you've got just like beyond crazy level dps but proving to be pretty good so far uh i think at this point we this is the bit where i'm a little bit more uncertain of but that's the reason we test the route right Now, I have seen it to be popular for people to run up here. Uh, I'm going to go off route a little bit because I'm quite sure there's one up here. Yeah, there is. Look, he's here. Maybe we need to change the route a little bit to come up this way. might make this a figure of eight then um that would seem to be a little bit more sensible to come up and through this way and then back over the bridge i'm just trying to tr my my goal is to maximize the amount of these things you can kill in 15 minutes yeah there's another one on the bridge here look not great to be on the bridge for this but we'll be fine boom lovely stuff oh more more purples we love the purples all the purples uh, up this way boys and girls up this way Yeah, you, you are literally never more than, you know, 20 yards from one. Oh, we've been split up a little bit now. Okay. Uh, 
No big, eh? Um, we want to kill them all together, though. Uh... We're losing a lot of time by being split up. I think, I think we'll still be able to loot them though. I think the loot rolls will still work. Let's backtrack. Let's go to, uh, let's go to, yeah, here he is. Okay, that needs to be uh, addressed in the route. Mate, which, which direction you go there? Oh, now he's evading. <laughs> Oops. Okay. They, they've obviously got a leash. Then they can't go too far. Well, since since we've uh, since we know where this one is, we'll pew pew him anyway. The more time we spend killing, the better. Is, any, uh, is anybody keeping count on how many of these things we managed to kill? I didn't pay attention to how many we've killed, but the actual kill count of these things is not too bad. We're gonna, uh, follow me back. We're going to go kind of back on ourselves a little bit now. Saw a third one. This is where I should really max my uh, draw distance. Now, there definitely appeared to be some in here somewhere on Wowhead. But in true fashion, I can't find them. Ah, there's one down there. Sorry. One minute. Can we get it? We've got one minute. All cooldowns. More dots. More dots. I think this is probably going to be the last one we can get, boys and girls. But either way, this has been um, pretty good. I'm up to three and a half. But even before looting this, I'm up to three and a half thousand uh, catalog research points from this run. So that's uh, that's pretty pretty popping. Boom, boom. I think that's going to be the last one for this run. I think we can basically get to the wrong end. It's at this point that we should. Uh, Try for one up top. Is there one more? I mean, if we got, if we can do it, we can do it. We've got 50 seconds. I've not spotted another one. If somebody's seen one, then we can definitely rock them. Oh, there is. There is another one up top. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Cooldowns. Go. Blow them all. Flasks. Potions. I want to see the works. Fourteen seconds. Get ready to loot. Get close, hunters. Get ready to loot. It's going to be tight. Boom! Three more epics. Lovely stuff, boys and girls. Great job. Great job. Right. Uh, I guess... I guess, use your cipher thing. Cipher of relocation. Head back over to Corthia. Damn, just under 4,000 cataloged research. 
3,912 per run. That's, uh, that, I mean, obviously you're not going to be able to be 100% efficient. Um, but I mean, simple maths, simple maths of, uh, three to four runs an hour. It's definitely somewhere in the region of 10k catalogued research points an hour. Pretty good going. Um, if if people want to do another run, I'm happy to do another quick run. Uh, I need to make a quick... I need to make a, a little bit of an adjustment to the route. Uh, optimo no, edit route manually, edit route. I need to make a couple of little changes. When we came out of Peridition Hold, going left into the Crucible of the Damned was almost pointless. Um, what we probably want to do is get rid of these ones. We probably want to come straight up here. Uh, move these out of the way. We want to. We want to come. Up here, cross this way. Now, this was the point where we got split off in two different directions, wasn't it? So, we probably want to go that way, come up, up, up onto the bridge. No, we do probably want to go this way still. Oh no, this was the point we got split into two. So actually, probably what we want to do is make that a loop round. You go one way, kill the one at the top, drop down, kill the one at the bottom, and then come back round. That probably makes more sense. That probably makes a little bit more sense. Didn't even have torn on my bars. Hey, you got a but you got three hunters in the group. I'm hoping I'm not the only one that was misdirecting. <laughs> right, I think that looks to be a slightly better route then. Coming all the way down to the Crucible of the Damned, you haven't got time for. I don't think not unless you've got like a Fwam group. Um, that'll do. Let me go. Let me go hand those in. Got the mount in the supplies. Oh, GG. Did you ever think about creating an in-game community? Uh, the, do people use the communities in the game? I, I don't even know. We have a solemn responsibility. Oh, beautiful. So good. Nearly 2,000 codex rep from that. Has to be called the No Long Boy Club. Well, if you've got a long boy, you're not allowed in. Is that the is that, is that the rule? Is that what we're saying? Uh, if you want to do another run, boys and girls, I'm happy to do another run for that. Head over to the uh, the rift entrance, and once we're ready, we'll we'll dive in, do another run. Two thousand archivist rep in like fifteen minutes. It's hard to turn it down. <clears throat> I think it's relatively uh, safe to assume what today's video might be. <laughs> I, th I think I think this is uh, now that we've got the route sort of. If this one goes to plan now, I think this will probably end up being our finalised route. I wish you could do routes that spanned across two different zones. Or I equally wish you could do a route that was was just a straight line. I, I, I it kind of annoys me that everything has to loop in routes. The add-on's cool, but I definitely have suggestions. 
Uh, who are we waiting for? We're waiting, for, we're waiting on Kinney. No problem. We'll wait a couple of minutes. It's fine. But yeah, can you can you imagine that if you have like if you are if you've got well the, the argument I suppose is if you're really geared you're probably not grinding for rep but the point still stands that maybe you're getting your conduits or something um, to be able to smash through like 10k reputation an hour is just gross. I, I kind of like little things like this where there's, you know, if you if you can put together an organized group, there's definitely an advantage to doing it. Um, I like that sort of stuff. I like that. You should be able to achieve it solo, but equally, if you're in an organized group, you should be able to do it more efficiently, which is good. Okay. Do a quick ready check. Make sure everybody's alive. If everybody's good, we can dive in. Let's go, boys and girls. Let's go. Round two. Let's try again. Hang on. There's literally one right here. Look. Literally one right here. That's that's a perfect start. We haven't even got into the moor yet. Beautiful. Somebody want to keep count in chat. This is number one. What I haven't checked, actually, is what their respawn time is like. Um, I've not done this quick enough and consistently enough to have really tested their respawn rates. But as you can see, I'm still not even tier six myself, so... We didn't see that one last time. We got all the way into the Beast Warrens before we saw our first one last time, so that's a bonus. Wondering if going down there is a good option. Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow my instincts. If I miss one, please feel free to just shout and tell me. I think it was around here we saw our first one last time. It concerns me that there isn't one here. Oh no, he is here, look. This is the same dude, look. So they obviously respawn fast enough. This was the first one we saw last time. This is number two. Thank you, Elias. Pew pew, down he goes. Boom! Three more tattered designs. Love it. I'm trying to look in all of the alleyways now, just to try and find, find where they're lurking. Where, where they're spawning, where I can't see them. Because I'm sure there's some sneaky ones hiding somewhere. Here we go. Number three. Oh, 
Uh, like I said, I've got a fair few alts that need to um, get their codex reputation up. So once I'm tier 6 on this dude and can farm rep as efficiently on my alts as possible, um, we'll have the opportunity to put together some horde groups. Because I know the majority don't uh, <laughs> do not do so well with horde group, uh, with alliance group, sorry. So we'll, um, we'll, we'll put some horde groups together for this as well. I'd like to help out people get their rep as efficiently as possible uh we'll, we'll we'll go kill that dude in a minute we'll go through peridition's hold first because we got to go back that way anyway uh unless we lost the tank have we lost the tank no we're good no we're good it's fine we we got to go back that way don't worry we'll get we'll get that one we got this. This is the only part of it where we need to backtrack, so it's not a problem. He'll be there in a minute. Beautiful. Good work. Now to now to the bridge at the end of Peridition's Hold. Obviously try and avoid stuff if you can. There he is. It's nice that these things don't have ridiculous amounts of health as well. It means you can actually just serve them down. And honestly, their mechanics are a bit dumb, dumb, simple, so it's fine. <laughs> Belligar, how we doing? Welcome in. Good to see you. We're uh, we're out doing some archivists codex grinding, getting some rep. With a group of five, you can get ten to twelve thousand rep, uh, ten to twelve thousand an hour, which is just broken. <laughs> uh, that's catalogued research, of course. That's not necessarily rep. That's like six k rep an hour, which is pretty gross. Needs to be done. Hope you're well, though. I guess from here we kill this one and then we go up the stairs. Uh, kill the one up on the platform. I think it seems to be an efficient way of doing it. Was wondering if some of the reports of the weekly quest was it's a bit painful, but in a group it's good. Yeah, in in a in a group it's GG. Ignore binding shadow. I know it's a rare, but we don't need to kill it for now. We're after rep. Back from third COVID jab. Hope it doesn't uh conk you out too much. Yeah, d getting the um, yeah, because not only is this because there's the weekly quest, isn't there, where you got to kill, you got to gather like twenty, is it twenty, twenty five of the things? I can't remember what the things are. Twenty, twenty five things to complete the weekly. So there's lots of people that are looking to do these rift runs. Um, twenty five, yeah, there we go, thanks. But it's um, it's actually a if you put a route together, it's a really efficient farm for. Reputation, just full stop. Ignore, even if you were ignoring the uh, the weekly. Yeah. 
Number eight. Uh, which minimap add on? Uh, it's all part of LVI. I literally just use what's almost a base plate LVI. Uh, I've moved things around a little bit, but that's that's literally it. Um, unless, of course, you mean the route. The red line is an add-on called Roots. Which is uh, a route that I've put together just literally a few minutes ago. But hint, hint, wink, wink. Uh, this little farming route might end up being today's video. Uh, across the bridge. Now, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go left, boys and girls. We'll go left. To the left, to the left. I probably should have said that earlier, but we'll go this way. I know this is the other opposite way to what we went last time, but um, we'll, we'll try and see if we can loop around. We've still got five minutes. We should be able to hit this one, plus at least two, maybe three more, if everything goes to plan. But this was number nine, yeah. Can you do this in a raid or only five person? Uh, you can only do it five person because these guys have regular uh, loot. Uh, rules. You could theoretically, I believe, 2 by 4 farm it. Uh, where you could obviously then get 8 people in. Because it, it would share similar rules to that. Um, I would guess. But I've not tried it as a 2 by 4 But no, you can't run it as a full raid. 5 man is, is, seems to be the optimal. Or maybe not perfectly optimal, but, you know, the default. Uh, I'm just trying to work out where we go from here. Three minutes left. I want to try and get to those two, one on top of each other. Should be this way. This should get us to the to the big bridge. Yeah, if we go across the big bridge, kill the one on the top, and then drop down, kill the one below. That should be the final two that we can easily get. Uh, nothing that way. Here we go. Is one on the bridge? Beautiful. Number 11. This is this is pretty good. If you can get 11 or 12, that's that's pretty good going. Because, you know, you only get 15 minutes in here, so... That's not far off one a minute, you know. That's pretty wild. Hang on, let's, let's, let's stun him out of Death Tempest. Oh, look, there's another one, like, right here. <laughs> That's a much better way to go. This route is uh, much smoother. We should get to kill this one, and there's another one down below. I'll mark the one down below. Um, get down there as fast as you can, however you can. Hunter probably do hunter things. Right, down to the one below, boys and girls. Get down there however you can. Hunters, you know, do hunter things. Anybody else, uh, you know, <laughs> sort yourself out. <laughs> Paladins, you've got bubble. Shamans, I'm sure you've got some in. Self heals at the, at the least. Still two minutes remaining, actually. Um, oh shit, we've pulled two at once. Uh, this is where it gets ropey as all hell, boys and girls. Um, max DPS. I didn't realise we put, managed to pull two at once. If 
Focus down skull first though, please. Because their, their abilities stack and they get kind of tasty. Nice. 42 seconds. We can do this. Loads of time. We'll, uh, we'll leave it there after this one, boys and girls, because there's only like 20 seconds left. So, good effort. Good effort. I like it. So, what was that? For, uh, what was the count at life? 14. Was that 14? That's not bad at all. That's actually incredible. Nice work, boys and girls. Thank you. Good job. Uh, from this point, probably use your... Uh, Where's me? Where's me cipher gone? Cipher of relocation. There it is. Good job. Hunted into it. Thought we'd be okay. Ah, uh, yeah. If you know, it's that's not too bad pulling two at once. As long as you zerg one down first. It's all good. All gravy. Nice one. What do we get there? Thirty-four hundred again. Fourteen kills. Thirty-four hundred. Nice. Nice. Damn hunters doing hunted things. Hey, well, I did say hunter do hunter things, so it's, you know. <laughs> 42 17 that time? Holy smoke. That's a lot. Nice one. Good effort, boys and girls. Well done. Right, well, I'm quite content that this little um, this little route works quite well. Going round that way, we managed to be quite optimal with those last few. I think it's really important to get to the Tremaculum ones, though, because what was it like? There was one on the top. We dropped down and killed one, and Crunchy ninja one. So there was like at least there was at least three at the top there. Oh, there was also one at the beginning of the bridge. So there's four. There's four in that last little bit. So yeah, definitely going to be good. You're going to be sharing the route on YouTube. If not, can you pop it in the Discord? Yeah, I'll do both. I'll do both. This is almost without doubt going to be the topic of today's video because um, getting that Archivist rep is, especially on alts, is really quite important for goal making purposes as well. So I know there's other videos out there on this, but it's news to some of you guys i feel i should probably put something together for you so 1900 xp this run nice good effort good effort let me let me hand in these then where am, where am i at right thank you boys and girls i'm not going to do any more runs for today uh we'll probably do another we can do like an alliance run and we can do a couple of horde runs uh each day on the streams but i thank you for those runs i appreciate this the uh the help with testing thank you thank you All the players have the wormhole, then they can teleport right to the moor, makes it a bit faster. Yeah, true. Obviously, you've got to be an engineer to do that, which is not always going to be convenient for people. But yes, if I was, um, Welcome if I was, you know, putting requirements on joining the group, I would probably make that thing. But Follow the purpose. nearly 13,000 rep now. Tier six tomorrow, then I reckon. Couple of runs tomorrow. No mocking the transmog in the video, please. It's all right. It's all right. My transmog is uh, easily the worst transmog ever, 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 ever in the history of evers because, well, I don't transmog. So <laughs> default, default gearing for me. Default gearing for me. Had my 30 minutes of fame. Look, mum, I'm on the tally. Right. Okay. Uh, I probably got... Did I get any anima... Do you get anima tokens from doing that? Surely you do. Maybe you don't. No anima, but lots of... Lots of, uh... Yeah. No anima, but lots of, uh... Lots of rep. Cool. Right. Uh, what did I need to do on this dude? More than, um... Did I really need to do anything else on this fellow? I don't think I did. Grinding a bit of reputation. We're getting there now. I need all of these to say exalted before too long. Tier 5 will be the next one to say exalted. 
Court of Night? I need to work out how the hell you get reputation with Court of Night. I guess you have to just be Court... I should just, for a while, switch to Court of... To switch to Venthyr to farm this up, right? Only mog during the trial of style when it's free. Back to the birthday farm for me. Yeah, we'll do some more birthday mount farming tomorrow. Court of Night is Night Fae, is it? Oh, okay. You can only kill the Arden World stage boss and Valfir. So, uh, yeah, it's no. Oh, and it's Night Fae, okay. Or maybe we'll switch to Night Fae at some point. Now, now that we can supposedly freely switch, we can. I guess we can go Night Fae, grind that rep, and then we're good, right? I'm not sure. What's the alt rep for gold? Uh, and gold needed for legendaries. Um, you need to uh, honored with the death's advance. I think is the is the thing you probably need but more importantly than anything uh for rank five and six legendaries you need to do you need to do the 9.1 campaign which to get to the point where you get the legendaries you also need to have done the 9.1 campaign so it's basically a campaign gate than more than it is anything else ends up being 250 or 500 rep per kill so it's pretty fast Oh, so even if I don't, even if I'm not, um, even if I'm not Night Fae, I can still grind that up relatively quickly. Is that why you're leveling rep to be able to make Legos? Oh, no, no, I, I just want to get to tier 6 for a couple of reasons. One, because it annoys me to not have tier 6. Uh, but secondly, they, in 915, they introduced a bind on account, uh, 50% token boost i think um where is it yeah research reports relic examination techniques gain 50 percent more reputation with the archivist codex when you turn relics into the archivist requires tier six to buy it but it's bind on account so you can send this to your own um i don't need the reputation per se on this character really i mean tier six would be nice sure but this is so that my alts can level to tier four to get Crafter's Mark IV, um, just in a smoother process, basically. Once on the stage boss, once for killing Valfir. Okay, you guys seem to know how I can do this one. Let, let, let me take 20 minutes out of my day to work out what the hell's going on with that then, as you guys seem to have the answers. God, I love it when you lot have the answers. It makes my life so much easier. <laughs> So I guess we go, we, we go, uh, where are we going? I can summon both for you if you want. Oh, does it need, does it need a Night Fae character to summon them? I, I am so blind to this. I genuinely have no idea what's going on. Uh, let me go over to Arden World then. Is there a specific flight point I need to go to? Where where are we going? Are we go in Heart of Forest. I'll go Heart of Forest, and then we'll just you, you can tell me if I need to be somewhere else. For the stage boss, you need Night Fae. For the Valfir boss, you need a seed, which only Night Fae can use. Oh, I see. Night Fae can use the seed to remove the big damage shield. Otherwise, it just takes forever. Ah, it's all starting to make sense. All starting to make sense then. The purpose reviews Arguably, it sounds very much like it would just be easier. Is it? Is it even for night phase though? Only two bosses a day you can do. Do they? Ha is it a faster rep grind for night phase? Is that? Is it kind of like um? Uh, brain. My brain doesn't work. The Avowed, that's the one I was thinking of. Is it grindable or is it like, is it literally time-gated? Night Fae is faster. 
I might look into this in a bit more detail. Ah, oh, the extra quests come through the transport network. Nice. Ah, oh, that makes sense then. Oh well, we might just um, we might just switch to Night Bay at some point for a while then, till we bash it out. I'm um. Where's the where's the one for the um? Yeah, Stitch. See, I'm exalted with Stitch Masters, so I don't really care all that much about. I'm not loyal to my Necrolord friends. I'm happy to switch around. I'll go behind their backs for a couple of weeks and do Night Bay, Court of Night stuff if needed. Maybe, possibly, we'll see. <laughs> Gonna report you to them. Uh, go to the World Quest Tough Crowd, that's where the stage boss is. Uh, this one. Star Lake Amphitheater requires a member of the Night Fae Covenant. Requires Anima Channel to Dream Song Fen. Talk to Dapper Jew, the stage director, to start one of the special encounters. The encounter changes each day. Participate in all seven encounters to unlock the uh, Silky Shimmer Moth. Cool. All right. Let's roll. See, all of the mounts I have in the game, which is not many, but I still use the one that's, like... This, still to this day, is one of my favourite mounts in the game. I have no idea why. Isn't this literally... Uh, isn't this the reward for collecting, like, 50 mounts or something pathetic? Yeah, I love this thing. Like, I don't even know what it's called. Albino Drake. It's just cool. That sounds very wrong out of context. I don't know what I said now. I say a lot of stuff. Um, do we, do we go up here somewhere, do we? Hang on, let me invite Crunchy. Let, let, let's, let's fix this, hang on. If you're in a group, a good time to do the macabre event while in Ardenworld if it's up for the achievement chain, as it needs three people dancing. Oh, I see, okay. Remember, through the support of our patrons and viewers, remember that, boys and girls. Through the support of the Patreons and viewers. <laughs> Shameless plug. Pew pew. Get wrecked. Oh, uh, maybe put Pet Taunt back on. <laughs> we'll, we'll go heavy into collection mode at some point. Um, it's... Collection mode will probably be a 9.2 thing. I do most of my collecting, you know, at the at the arse end of the expansion when there's, when when we know that when I when I have my final list of stuff to collect, you know. Oh, there we go. Court of Night increased by 584. Wonderful and some grateful offerings because of it. Nice, I see. Oh, you've got the kitty cat. Of course, you've got the kitty cat. <laughs> I'm following. I'm following. Take me to your leader. Bought with gold? Sure. <laughs> I want squeakers though. I might I might uh, break my own rules and buy squeakers at some point. Because it's just cool. I can't help it. It's cool. Although, I tell you what, is, has anybody seen the uh, the snail mount in 9.2? I definitely want the snail mount. Wiggly Boy 2.0. Wiggly Boy with a house. 
Yes, please. Do you have the mouse from Hearthstone? No, I've not logged into Hearthstone. See, it is where I am. Uh, what? Oh, I need to wait for the boss, I see. Okay. Oh, it's this dude. I remember this dude. Yeah, this. Yeah, with the shield up, this guy just doesn't die. If you want to pe piss people off, call it a slug mount. Well, I did call it a slug mount to begin with. Uh, I did call it a slug mount and people, yeah, instantly started. It's not a slug, it's a snail. It's like it's a slug with a house. Oh, click the seed in the boss spawns. Uh, seed, hello? Am I, am I, am I dum-dums? Uh, oh, well, th there he is. Whoa, big dude, hello. Good to see ya. Pew pew, Barney McGrew. I was one of those. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a slug with a house. I'm going to call it Wiggly Boy 2.0, though. We've got our Wiggly Boy mount, uh, which, oh, I'm really sad to say, is not even on our bars at the moment. Which it should be. But we'll, we'll get the, we'll work out how to get the oldie slug mount. Slug with a house. When the PTR drops. So it's just, uh, so if I understand it, it's just these two rares or events or whatever you want to call them that gives the Court of um, court of Knights to non-Night Fae characters, okay. Got it. Boom. Relationship with the Court of Night is now friendly. Check me out. Beautiful stuff. Thank you once again, Crunchy. Appreciate it. Okay. Well, today you learned something new. He can drop a mount too. Does he? Oh, he does. Wild Glimmer Fur Prowler. Alright. All the more reason to pew pew him then. Requires a member of the Night Fae Covenant to channel Anima to Tyranus Scythe. Afterwards, you can loot the Amber Anima Seed Light at the boss to remove its veil. Smart. Read the fucking manual, Mantheus. I get it. Cool. Nice one. Uh, I don't think there's a huge amount more I need to do on this this dude today, though. Let's uh, let's take him back to Seat of the Primus. Let's take him back and leave him there for the day. Night Fae gets more stuff. Yeah, if it, if there's things of like that, um, now that we now that the rip cord has been pulled, I guess it makes sense to bounce around the um, the covenants as we need to get these different things. It does make a sense. Um, I didn't do a restock today, did I? Should have probably looked at doing a restock today. I've not, I don't even think our auction house account is logged on, look. You can buy the Valfir mount with Anima and Grateful Offerings if you can't be bothered to farm for it. Uh, maybe. That may end up being the case. I got a lot of stuff I still need to uh, get from Necrolords first though, but once, I, once I've done their stuff, then we can maybe jump to other, other ones. Now, the real question is, is during all of that shenanigans, did we sell anything? Are we richer than we started? Oh, oh, haha, <laughs> that's what I didn't do. What I didn't do was relist auctions. Oops. Well, we, we, um, we've sold a grand total of apparently nothing. I did suspect this might be a thing. The slowdown might be kicking in again now. time is it? Oh, no wonder I'm hungry. It's nearly three o'clock.
36.3 million on Sylvanas now. Okay, TSM's caught up. TSM's now realised that we've uh, we didn't spend all the gold. We just sent it somewhere. Damn. That's made 9.1.5. Pretty profitable so far. I need to I need to just tell TSM to ignore some of these characters though. They're making the list look longer than it needs to. I mean, whilst I do have that many characters, Scumbag Johnny does not need to uh I do not need to know that Scumbag Johnny has one gold. I mean, every little one counts, I'm sure, but Those bags, my eyes, my eyes. Don't worry, it's all going. It's all going. It's all getting relisted. It's hard to not open successful auctions from the auction house till tomorrow. I try to do, I try to only open my auctions like in the morning once a day. I try. It doesn't always happen though. Sometimes temptation kicks in. More often than not, actually, the reason I open them up more than once a day is because I accidentally click open all. But, the um, yeah, I feel you. We have sold a single pair of Grimvale braces. Yeah, this, this, this is, um... This is proving to be, although in fairness, I've deliberately listed my legendaries for a high price at the moment due to the severe lack of Corthite crystals on my auction house. Um, when the supply of Corthite crystals, you know, fixes itself, then we might uh, be a little bit more competitive on our prices and in turn then probably actually sell something. What's the highest price you'll buy Corthite Crystals for? It's a super difficult question to answer because, uh, for example, on two different realms that I play on, the Corthite Crystal situation is almost exact opposite. On this realm I'm playing on now, usually I can get the Corthite Crystals, or I should say, I was able to get Corthite Crystals at about three to 400 gold apiece. But the problem was, is they all just disappeared. There, there, there just wasn't enough physically listed on the auction house. So I could buy, I mean, I did, I, I could get them cheap, but I couldn't get enough of them. Whereas on Torn Mill, um, really high population server, I could buy as many Corthite crystals as I wanted, but they were like eight, nine hundred gold apiece, which is really risky, uh, spending that kind of money. But literally, Kazakh and Draenor are the two biggest servers in the EU, and they have the two highest market valuations for Corthite Crystals right now. It doesn't make a huge amount of sense, but what it does tell me is that the prices are hyper-inflated over there. And when they're hyper-inflated, they will crash and burn very quickly. So, if you do happen to play on, you know, Kazak or Draenor, just be really careful. Um, for example, we now have, let's see if the situation's got any better. 1,700 Corthite Crystals, but the cheapest listing is nearly 700 gold at the moment. So, yeah. The, the, the problem is, is I mean, I prob for, to do a full restock on this server, I probably need 3,000 Corthite Crystals. Um, so I, I, I can't physically restock all of my legendaries, even if I want to, which is why at the moment I've artificially set my material cost on crystals to be 800 gold apiece. People can buy my legendaries on like at the prices that they are at the moment, but I'm not too... Not overly keen on selling them until this problem is fixed. I've, um, which does mean that there's lots of rank sixes that I just have zero of because 
you know, I, <laughs> I can't. And lots of rank fives I don't have any of. Any of. In total, I've got 47 rank fives and sixes combined. Now to do a re uh, to do a full restock on just rank fives and sixes, probably a comfortable 3,000 Corthite crystals for me. 319 on my realm. We're under 200 for months. Yeah. The um. The we were looking at this at the beginning of the stream. I can bring it back up again. We were looking at Corthite crystals. Uh, specifically and look this is the regional daily summary right so th this was when Corthia you know first came out you know lots of people wanted them there wasn't many kicking about um, not entirely sure what happened here what happened on Tuesday the 7 17th of August did something big happen then was oh I know what happened on Tuesday August the 17th. This was the day that Blizzard made their hotfix to Corthite crystals. This is when they hotfixed the drop rate of them and made them drop like candy. Um, so, by nobody's surprise, all of a sudden the quantity of Corthite crystals exploded nearly overnight. And in turn, because of that, the price tanked. And for the most part, from then on, it never really recovered. Although what was quite interesting is this gives a good indication of just, you know, less and less and less and less. Ignore spikes because spikes happen every every reset. But less and less and less and less and less people were in Corthia farming them. To the point where, and, it, and at the same time, nobody was buying the damn things. So region-wide, they dropped to about 100 gold apiece. But now 9.1.5 has come out. The average price of them has gone up quite considerably to 350 gold um but the supply is not far off different which is why the price has gone up people are needing to buy them and they needed to buy them quickly but this will go back down again now um i i can't see any reason for there to be too much shenanigans in the tr in the price trend but like i was saying earlier be really careful because if you play on one of the big realms look draenor Draenor and Kazakh, the two highest population realms in the EU. Not just by a small margin either. If you look at uh, Raider.io's realm listings, Draenor, 196,000 characters. Kazakh, 194,000 ca characters. The next closest is a Russian guild. Behind that is Silver Moon at 170. And then you get Taran Mill, 170. But Draenor Kazakh, the two highest population realms where everybody does the raiding look. Like 39 guilds at 10 out of 10 mythic. 65 guilds at 10 out of 10 mythic. You know, th these are the big servers. These are where the players play. Um, on both of those realms are nearly the two highest market prices for Corthite Crystals on those realms. Which is funny, because it shouldn't be that way. It arguably should be the other way around. You know, that on a realm that has got so many people playing, you would expect there to be just astronomical amounts of these materials. But nope. Well, that's it. It, it goes to show the supply and demand. There was a huge spike in demand. Because of all of the players there. And, you know, the Corthite crystals got hoovered up. Technically, it takes a single player about four weeks to farm up enough Corthite crystals doing Corthia daily to make one legendary. Nobody's playing Corthia. Yeah, big problem. Big problem, right? They took Draenor off WoW Realm Pop? What do you mean? What do you mean they took Draenor off while wow, Realm Pop? I'm confused. But yeah, it's safe to say that this is a bubble right now. The, the market price for the crystals over there is outrageously high right now. Because it's artificially been inflated to that price.
the reverse on my realm. Plenty of Corthite, but no mats like a Lithium, Callus Hide, and like the Silk. Um, that was exactly the same for me about four or five days ago. But it switched, and it it's weird. It nearly switched overnight. Soon as that Corthite gets hoovered up, um, which it inevitably will, at least if there's a reasonable amount of people still wanting legendaries, then it will flip the other way. Corthite crystals will become the bottleneck, and when they become the bottleneck, they stay the bottleneck because it's considerably harder to gather Corthite crystals than it is, you know, general resources. Uh, and for reference, I know it's it's been a while back, but to answer the question of how do you set a specific price in TSM, um, you can open up a profession with TSM, go to reports, and then click on materials, search for whatever it is you want. So, Corthite Crystal, for example. And what I've done at the moment is I've just said, right, TSM, consider a Corthite Crystal worth 800 gold. Now, I don't do this very often. The things I usually do this for is vendor materials. Not the most logical place to find it. It's not, no. Um, for, for example, Penumbra Thread. Um, Haha! <laughs> there's me saying I usually do it for vendor mats, and I haven't done it on this one. Uh, 7 gold, 20 silver. Save. Um, any vendor materials that you buy on a regular basis because TSM has the horrible issue of forgetting what the vendor prices are for vendor materials. Uh, it's not necessarily their fault, um, but what it tends to... One of the biggest problems I see people have with TSM is out of nowhere their crafting costs are just loopy. And it's usually because it's reverted to like the market price for Penumbra Thread. Um, you know, a the market value on Penumbra Thread is 10 gold and 81 silver, which is dumb because you can buy it from a vendor. Anybody can buy it from a vendor for 9 gold. And if you're exalted, you can buy it for 7 gold and 20. Um, but, you know, the way to TSM works out of the box, if it doesn't know the vendor price, doesn't know your personal vendor price, it will revert to the market value, which it will have a knock-on effect to all your crafting costs as well. So sometimes it is very handy to just go in here and just say, right, penumbra thread, this is how much it costs me. This is what I want the material price to be. Not many materials I'll do it for, but occasionally, occasionally it's worth doing. Um, does the TSM, has the TSM graph fixed itself? Okay, the graph has fixed itself as well now. Okay. Yeah. Done pretty well out of patch 9.1.5 so far. Can't lie. Pretty successful so far in this realm. Ooh, somebody selling a golden mains for 300k. That doesn't sound too bad of a price. Doesn't sound too bad of a price at all. I wonder if they'll take 150k. I don't know. I'm not bothered. Yeah. 12.5 million gold profit in the last month. Can't complain. Have you been to Alterac Valley to uh, complete the quest for the mount? Uh, hello? What's this? What's, what's, what's this? What's this wizardry about mounts we, we, we talk about? There's lots of mounts. I don't oh, is this... Oh, is that because of... Um, What's it called? The uh, Karak's Revenge. That's the one. Is there a mount that you can get from there? What's it called? Do I have it? There's some new mount from there. Oh. 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 <laughs> Look at me with my pathetic 300 mount. Would you, you would never believe I've played the game for 17 years. What's this new mount then? I'm intrigued now. I thought it was just the old one. I mean, it may it may very much just be the old one, but there's equally a good chance that I don't have it. So 
something ram. Seems like the only content they add is... Uh, oh, Storm Pike Battle Ram. Storm Pike Battle Ram. We do not have. Achievement. Alterac Valley of Old. Uh, okay. Storm Pike Battle Ram. Added in an 8.2.5. Earn 200 time walk badges from doing quests and participating in Alterac Valley Classic. That really shouldn't be too hard to do, should it? That should be a walk in the park. It says here it rewards a Frost Wolf Snarler. Or is that maybe the Horde version? That's probably the Horde version, right? Yeah, requires Horde. Huh. That might be um that's that might be the uh it will take a couple of hours to do, trust me. Will it really? Okay. Well, maybe we'll um maybe we'll start working on that one tomorrow then. Goat looks dope. <laughs> We might start work. Well, well, we'll, we'll uh, one mount at a time. We'll uh, we'll get the Illadari Dragonhawk dude. We've got 40 attempts on it so far. We'll do another 20 attempts tomorrow, um, and then maybe we'll move on to getting ourselves a Stormpike Battle Ram. But I'm going to leave it there for today, boys and girls. I need to go get me some food. Um, we will. I, uh, the um, thank you once again, boys and girls, for helping me put together this little. Uh, farming route for this little route for the uh oh jesus my brain does not work today i can't remember their flipping name the uh these dudes these dudes these dudes the, the famished darknesses will um in the next few days as well we'll be able to put together some runs for these to get people their uh to get people their archivists rep up and running we can do some Horde and some Alliance ones because there's some Horde characters I need to do this on as well. So um, hopefully we can get a few people some quick and easy reputation. Which uh, get your get yourselves your crafters marks, get yourselves your, uh, your missing conduits, your missing, uh, well, anything that comes from Corthia basically. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll continue on with that tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow's going to be reset day as well, isn't it? Oh, loads of rep to gain tomorrow then. Loads of rep to gain. Yeah, tier, tier, tier 6 tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow's going to be a big day. Big day. Tier 6 tomorrow. We're going to get two mounts. Because we're absolutely going to get the birthday mount. And we'll go and get that. We'll, we'll, we'll go get the... Uh, we'll go get the ram thing from Alterac Valley. So t we, we're going to get tier 6. Two, two mounts. We're going to... What else are we going to do tomorrow? And then let's say 3 million gold in, in legendary sales. Boom. We'll do it. We'll, we'll, we'll get on it tomorrow. Hit that follow button if you haven't already, boys and girls. Hit that sub button if you're inclined. Magical things happen when you do. Um, but I'm going to go get some food. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you all tomorrow. In a bit. Peace.